Baseball, there was a special place. They have built it, and now we have come. It isn't heaven, but it's pretty darn close. Welcome, everyone, to Minor League Baseball at Field of Dreams, presented by Capital One. Tonight, from Dyersville, Iowa, the site of the 1989 film Field of Dreams, we'll see the Cedar Rapids Bunnies, the high affiliate of the Minnesota Twins, square off against the Davenport Blue Sox, the high A squad of the Kansas City Royals. Greg Amsinger on the Field of Dreams with my guys, Harold Reynolds, John Paul Morosi. Clearly, we're feeling the mood of the 1920s, 1930s. And Harold, for the first time, I can say this. There are big leaguers watching right now, envious of minor league players. There's no doubt about it. Greg, when I was in the big leagues, when this movie was filmed, I got my Moonlight Graham hat on. I wanted to come here, see a game. Not only I didn't imagine playing. Imagine an opportunity to play on this ballpark in this area. I, yeah, there's big leaguers that are envious of guys today because not many people are going to have an opportunity to do this. This is really special. That's right, Harold. And first of all, you and I had a catch today. That was one dream for me. That was awesome. <laughs> but what I want to know is at what point in time today will the native of Urbandale, Iowa, Matt Mullenbach, step to the mound as the first native Iowan to play a game here professionally at the Field of Dreams? Just so you know, Greg, I was the son. He was the dad. <laughs> is that right? Is that right? <laughs> well, thanks for clearing that up. Uh, you might want to meet some of the Cedar Rapids bunnies here now their Lunchables lineup. Alaric Solari, Houston, Texas. Seth Gray, Springfield, Ohio. Aaron Sabato, Radbrook, New York. Jake Rucker, Greenbrier, Tennessee. Kyler Fedko, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Patrick Winkle, Orange, Connecticut. Juan de Javier, I'm from Dominican Republic, one out. I'm Jefferson, I'm Venezuela, El Consejo de la Victoria. I'm Will Holland, I'm from Lawrenceville, Georgia. Greg, earlier today, Harold and I spoke with Seth Gray. You saw him there, the second batter for Cedar Rapids. He had a great line about his father, Jason, who is here tonight, Greg, and said he went without so I could have this opportunity wow. to fulfill my dream. He looked out over this beautiful vista and said, it does not get any better than and, this. And that's the story of minor league baseball. You know, the opportunity has to be presented. Somebody creates that avenue for you. Yeah, the great storylines on both sides, including for the Davenport Blue Sox. Let's meet them here now, their Lunchables lineup. Tyler Tolbert, Birmingham, Alabama. Peyton Wilson, Hoover, Alabama. Gerald Gonzalez, I'm from Dominica, Villa Vasca. Juan Carlos Negre, from Cuba, Guantanamo. Kale Imshoff, Corpus Christi, Texas. Dylan Trum, from San Diego, California. Rivertown, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Parker Bates, Tyler, Texas. Cam Williams, Tampa, Florida. I'm going to focus on the shortstop, Tyler Torbert. In the minor leagues, you got to do something unique or have a unique skill that gets you out of the minor leagues. Here's something for you. He stole 46 straight bags this year, 46-46. In his minor league career now, he's 131 attempts. 
He's got 128 steals, only caught three times. Elite skill, elite talent. I really believe, JP, had the Royals been in this run, we're looking at Terrence Gore, number yes. two. Yes, wow. He's in the big leagues right now, stealing bags for them. But he plays shortstop. He can pick it. Played all over the diamond. It'd be fun to watch. But does he have a mustache and a comb over like me? No, he no. doesn't have that. <laughs> he doesn't have that. He does not. History is about to be made. The first ever minor league baseball game played in Dyersville, Iowa. Baseball from the Field of Dreams live next. You're going to reconsider this whole morning thing with Taco Bell's warm breakfast quesadilla, crisp hash brown, Cinnabon delights, and a coffee. Wake up to the new $5 Bell breakfast box. Only at Taco Bell. I got into debt in college, and no matter how much I paid, it followed me everywhere. So I consolidated it into a low-rate personal loan from SoFi. Get a personal loan with no fees, low fixed rates, and borrow up to 100 k SoFi, get your money. Disabled, laid off, broke. We see it all the time, and we know how to fight it. PRW has helped thousands of people get the Social Security disability benefits they need. Experience matters. So does a winning tradition. So call us today, and let's go after the money you deserve. Call PRW now. PRW wins. This guy was driving way over the speed limit. Look at the damage. This guy was going a lot over the speed limit. Look at the damage. This guy was going a little over the speed limit. Look at the damage. Ray? People will come, Ray. They'll come to Iowa for reasons they can't even fathom. They'll turn up your driveway, not knowing for sure why they're doing it. They'll arrive at your door as innocent as children, longing for the past. Oh, of course, we won't mind if you look around, you'll say. It's only $20 per person, and they'll pass over the money without even thinking about it. For it's money they have, and peace they lack. And they'll walk out to the bleachers, sit in shirt sleeves on a perfect afternoon. They'll find they have reserved seats somewhere along one of the baselines, where they sat when they were children and cheered their heroes. And they'll watch the game, and it'll be as if they dip themselves in magic waters. The memories will be so thick they'll have to brush them away from their faces. People will come, Ray. The one constant through all the years, Ray, has been baseball. America has rolled by like an army of steamrollers. It has been erased like a blackboard, rebuilt and erased again. But, Baseball has marked the time. This field, this game, it's a part of our past, Ray. It reminds us of all that once was good and could be good again. Oh, people will come, Ray. People will most definitely come. What a gift from the late, great Vin Scully, setting the tone for a magical night of baseball. Here in Dyersville, Iowa, we are underway. First pitch is fouled off. Chandler Champlain, a six foot five, 235 pound right-hander, toes the slab for the Davenport Blue Sox, a young man acquired in the Andrew Benintendi trade, Harold. Well, it's always fun to see 
after a trade this close, so fresh that you get a chance to see a kid on the national stage. I watched him warm up. Explosive fastball. Right there, you got a chance to see a slider. Two pitches, two strikes. And clearly, the hitters know. Came up aggressive swing at the first pitch, not playing around. He's got good stuff. One of three pitchers acquired by the Royals organization for Benintendi. The 0-2 pitch. Breaking ball in the dirt. Alaric Soleri is the left fielder tonight for Cedar Rapids. And this is a good Cedar Rapids team. 61 and 41, the record coming in. His numbers on the year. The fourth pitch from Chandler Champlain from the Field of Dreams. Another breaking ball back and forth. Yeah, Greg, I like the fact that this is what, their 100th game, they're in the 100 range. The rosters will turn a little bit because you have guys that got signed and get called up and, and guys have moved to double A. But for the most part, this is who they are. You get a chance to really see what a player has developed into. Swing and a miss, high gas from Chandler Champlain. And that's what he's been doing in the minors all year. 11.7K per nine. One of the reasons why the Royals wanted him in the package for Benintendi. Well, I mean, you look at him. Look at the size right here up at the top of the zone, just letting it fly. But we can see already in one hitter, his location, his ability to locate pitches and throw strikes. Here's Seth Gray, third baseman for Cedar Rapids. Tell you what, Seth Gray has a huge personality. It was so fun hanging around him, getting a chance to see him. His dad, his mom was here. They came down on the field. He's doing a little Instagram thing. JP Morosi breaking news. <laughs> I mean, it was pretty cool stuff. They are here to strut their stuff on a huge stage for high A minor leaguers. This isn't double A, triple A. This is an opportunity for these two teams. Why these two teams? Well, they're two of three minor league affiliated ball clubs in the state of Iowa. Both within two hours, less than two hours, of where we're located right now in Dyersville. Swing and a miss. The zone again. And he's in the hole one and two. Well, we, we saw this the other night. Um, on our show with Verlander with the high fastball and the, then the 12 to 6 breaking ball, same thing he's featuring. And that high fastball is tough to hit because it's right at eye level. And, and that's the same, the arm ends up being in the same slot as if he's going to throw that hook. And so as a hitter, you get that ball up there, you're attacking it. You saw that bad swing by Gray on the check swing before the last pitch. But that gives him a, a different look than a slider and a curveball. There it is. Swing and a miss. Back to back strikeouts for Chandler Champlain. Up next, slugger for Cedar Rapids, Aaron Sabato, former first round pick out of North Carolina. He's wearing a microphone for us. Listen. John, John, I'm mic'd up. What do you got to say? Let's go. Let's go, babe. Fire up them bats. Let's fire up. What do you say, hey? Let's, Let's fire it up tonight. Let's fire it up tonight. Oh, yeah, Let's mic'd up right now, baby. I reckon we're a long way from New York, Seth Gray. We're a long way from New York. I reckon you're right, Aaron Sabato. The New Yorker from Rye, New York. That's right outside of uh, right outside of the Bronx, that area. Bill Buck Showalter, when he was managing the Yankees, lived in Rye. That's a base swing, hit. base knock for one of the top 15 prospects in the Minnesota Twins system. A first rounder in 2020 out of the University of North Carolina. Set a Tar Heels freshman record with 18 home runs in 2019. He's got 16 home runs this year. It's tied for six moths in the Midwest League, a league that's close to your heart, Harold. Oh, I love the Midwest League. I played in it when I was in eight ball myself. He got a breaking ball that was able to get down and drive it through the hole. But you talked about there's three teams now in Iowa. But when I was playing, there's Waterloo, Burlington, uh, Quad Cities. I mean, it was amazing. Cedar Rapids. They're not. Jake Rucker up there swinging the bat. First pitch, back-to-back -back base hits for the Cedar Rapids Bunnies. Well, what I what I like about minor league baseball is we don't have the pitch clock tonight, but these guys have learned to play with pace. They're up attacking, they're swinging, the pitcher's getting the signs and going. So it just shows you that once a habit is built, you don't have to have a clock to tell them that you got 20 seconds to throw a pitch. If you're sitting at home right now, you can almost time the pitcher, by the time he delivers, hits the glove and gets the ball back, I guarantee you they would be delivering pitches within 20 seconds. Two on, two outs, pitch 14 in the inning for Champlain. <laughs> Breaking ball, strike one. Kyler Fedko, 6'2 right-handed bat and outfielder. 
Pennsylvania kid, 12th rounder back in 2021. And they're both ready to go, Greg. He's got his sign, hitters in the box. Let's go. Pace is great. Well, when you're around the zone to start a game, the opposition's ready to swing the bats, and that's clearly the message. Yeah, and I think the big thing, when you get into minor leagues, you don't have the extensive data that you might have on a major leaguer, so the scout report's not so deep. All I want to know, does he throw strikes? Is he around the plate? And what does he have? And that's why you see, they get that, and they know, and they're coming and swinging. Got a pickoff. The last pitch before he hesitated, I think that kind of tipped off the runner. You know, with two strikes, you want to play back. I and mean, with two outs, you want to play back, look to get the ground ball, keep it in the infield. But because of, the runner was tipped off with the pitcher holding the ball a little bit longer, he was a little bit closer to the back. Aaron Sabato, not known for stealing bags, laughing that they're trying to pick him off second base. The 0 2 pitch. Nice, nice block. Behind the plate is Kale Emshoff. The Blue Sox very high on him. Strong defender behind the plate. One of their key offensive bats as well. The one two pitch to Kyler Fedko and he fouls it away. Now you see obviously we talk about for starters do you want a third pitch or maybe a fourth pitch there's no change up we haven't seen that yet. We haven't seen the slider we see the fastball curveball is really his combination. You don't really change guys. They just got him in a trade. So they're not going to sit and change him at the end of the season like, oh, add another pitch. Mm -hmm. So what, what he's throwing right now is probably what we'll see the whole game. Fastball, curveball. Looking to strike out the side. The one-two pitch, and he does. Woo. Chandler Champlain making a statement at the top of the first at the Field of Dreams. Guten Tag, this is my auto, and this is my key. And for all auto repairs, I only trust one place with my key. My key! All the pay in America! My key is so honest. And uh, what's the word? A transparent. Rock and roll! With e-inspection, I look at the photographs, and see the problem, and fix with my German eyeballs. Hey, you got some water damage. Wow. He's really good. I only trust my key with my key. Meet Leon the third, Leon the second, and Leon the first of them all. Three generations who all bank differently with Chase. Leon's saving up for his first set of wheels. Nice try. Really? This Leon's paying for his paint job on the spot. And this Leon, as a Chase private client, he's in the south of France taking out cash with no ATM fees. That's because this family of Leon's has Chase. Actually, it's Leon. Ooh la la. One bank for now, for later, for life. Chase, make more of what's yours. Choosing T-Mobile is like paying for this, but getting that. And so much more. More 5G bars in more places. More savings so your family saves 20% versus the other guys. And we won't raise the price of your rate plan with our price lock guarantee. Get more with T-Mobile. More 5G coverage, more savings, and even more cool stuff. Return to Iowa's Field of Dreams with MLB Tonight's Greg M. Singer and Harold Reynolds. It's live pre- and post-game coverage of the historic game between the Cubs and Reds. MLB Tonight, live from Iowa, Wednesday and Thursday, only on MLB Network. Welcome back to Minor League Baseball at the Field of Dreams live on MLB Network. Greg Amsinger, Harold Reynolds, John Paul Morosi alongside. Bottom the first inning between two high A minor league teams. Aaron Rozek, a 26 year old left hander with a very interesting story. Right, Harold? No doubt. Well, first of all, you can't beat that view. I mean, there's cornfields behind him. Amazing. But he's got he's had quite a journey. He came through independent ball. He was even traded from one team to another in independent ball. Uh, just getting a chance and an opportunity. Again, he's 26 years old. Here he is in A ball and really getting things going. Fastball, change up. He'll go after hitters and attack. He grew up a Minnesota kid, went to Division II Minnesota State, had a great career there. But because he doesn't throw hard, 
wasn't drafted. Well, this would be interesting. Oh, the air's long. Throw, he doesn't beat the speedy Tyler Tolbert, who reaches on the second pitch he sees. Well, I thought Javier might have a play. He did slip on the throw, but that's what Tyler Tolbert, he and I were discussing before the game. You get that third baseman drawn, and you hit it by him, and watch him get down the line. All right, he gets out the box, and he just starts to explode about three quarters of the way down. But you get a break right here. That slip was just enough, but that's what speed will do. It has, it makes you have to be perfect. Now we go to work. Look at that beautiful lead he gets over there. Peyton Wilson is at the plate. He is the top prospect you're going to see tonight from the Davenport Blue Sox. Played at University of Alabama. Two of his brothers played sports at University of Alabama. His brother, John Parker, was a terrific quarterback for the Crimson Tide. And, and Tyler Tolbert, if you missed our open, the runner on first base right now, he stole 46 bags this year. He's 46 for 46. You can see the pitcher already disrupting his delivery, mixing him up, finally comes with the strike there. But 46 for 46, it doesn't matter, lefty, righty, he's running. He's got 128 steals in 131 attempts in minor league baseball. Well, 129 for 132. They put a better number up there than I had. That's pretty impressive stuff. Now three balls and a strike to Peyton Wilson. But Greg, here's the thing. Having been a guy that, that ran and played on teams that had guys that put pressure on the pitcher, we forgot that base running takes concentration away from that. That hit allows a hitter to get pitches to hit and puts pressure on the pitcher. Black this Wilson. ball is crushed down the line and foul. But that's what happens. They get he, he's now we start off with two slide steps. He falls behind 2 0. He throws a strike. Then he gets behind again. And all of a sudden he forgets he's got a guy that's got some power at the plate. And now we're in a 3 2 count. And he's running 3 2. You can count on that. We've seen so many over the years incredible stolen base performances in the minor leagues. Billy Hamilton yeah put up crooked numbers in the minor leagues. Vince Coleman Donnell Nixon I played with Donnell Nixon. He stole 144 bases. You see it on your screen. Billy Hamilton stole 155 bases in 2012. I mean wow. Look at Nix. 85.7 percent. This one sent to right uh -oh. field. Let go into the sun. He makes the play in right. I thought he, he kind of quick pitched him so he wasn't able to get a, get a good start and a good run. So I give the pitcher a little credit on that, and he got the fly out to get the out. But he's affecting the game already. So Aaron Rosek gets the first out of the ball game, and that was a changeup. That's his go-to pitch. Uh oh, not gonna get it. They picked him up. And they're going to call him safe. He's safe. He has such a great lead and is explosive that even when you think he made a mistake, he didn't. Because that's part of your game plan. I've got a lead now where I'm off and running on your first movement. And I'm gambling that I'm faster than you're able to make two throws to get me. And he's safe. And so you can throw it home for the two throws or you can throw it the first for the two throws. I, I always thought that if a first baseman threw it, it's just like a catcher. Oh well, throw me out. I was really worried that we jinxed Tyler Tolbert talking about 46 for 46. Then it gets picked off. Swipes the bag anyway. His 47th of the year. Erard Gonzalez is at the plate. But but did you follow that? A lot of people think he got picked off. That's a planned play. I've got a huge lead and I'm going first movement. If I don't go first movement, if we can see it again while he's fixing his belt here. He's going the first movement. That means if he lifts his glove, lift his hand, anything, I'm going first movement. And so regardless of what he does, I'm betting on my lead not being able to throw me out on any throw they make. You sound like you did that back in the day. Absolutely. That was a that was a planned, taught way of stealing a base. Not everybody can do it. When you have elite <laughs> speed like that, right. you can do that. I used to blow out so many belts like that when you fly slide head first. You know all of these young men are dying to know who will be the first to hit it into the cornstalks.
Well, Greg, I'm glad you brought that up. During batting practice, I said, guys, I didn't play here, but I got to go to Fenway Park. And every time I went to Fenway, I tried to hit every ball over the monster. How many of you guys are trying to hit the ball in the cornfield? They go every swing. <laughs> <laughs> you can't help it. Well, because the ball disappears. So it just cool. goes away. Aaron Rosick back to work. Oh, there's that change up. He told us the story of how he developed his change up, didn't he? Well, he was a big um, uh, Yo Johan Santana fan. And he can tell you better than I can. You, he was talking to you more about that. Go ahead, Greg. You take over. Well, he's a big Minnesota Twins fan, so now he's in the Minnesota Twins farm system. Swing and a miss, and that change piece is nice. Fuck. I just remember him saying he will throw it all the time, which he is doing. But go ahead. Go back to the genesis of his change. So he admitted that Johan was his favorite pitcher. He would go into the backyard with a whipple ball and work on throwing a changeup like Johan Santana. And now it is his plus secondary offering. Which is interesting because you brought that up the other day on MLB tonight. I don't know if I was buying it. And you said young young guys go out there and play with a wiffle ball. Learn how to throw pitches with a wiffle ball. And he admitted he did it. He did that. That's why he can throw a changeup. Yeah, that's pretty impressive stuff. I, I'm looking at Tobit right now. Uh, the second baseman is putting on a sign for pickoffs. This may come back from the catcher, but he again has a big lead. I don't see him moving, so he'd have to be like explosive flat foot run. Juan Carlos Negret to left field. Does it have enough? And it does. The Blue Sox DH makes it 2 nothing. Davenport at the Field of Dreams. You asked for it, you got it. They said you build it, he will come, right? But if you ask for things here when you're in Iowa at the Field of Dreams, they can deliver it too. Exactly. I want to see one in the cornfields. He did it for you, Greg. And that ball did disappear. That was really cool. Yeah, really cool. Juan Carlos Negret, who had been a bit banged up, hadn't played for the past five days. Before that, he was red hot. That's his 14th home run of the season. And the Blue Sox take an early 2 0 lead. Well, he knew it too. He touched that off. And he had a little skip and a hop to it. It was nice. Here's Kale M. Schoff. Well, here's a good look at it right here. He ends up getting a changeup that just hung out over the plate and he got full extension. Boom. He got that ball out in front of him. See ya. Hey. M shot batting fifth. A good look at Juan Carlos Negret. He's the DH. A Blue Sox team that has struggled this year. Ball away. That ball misses away. Cedar Rapids, they're 61 and 41. They already won their division in the first half, and in their league, you're automatically in the postseason if you win the first half. So this this club is here expecting to play a lot of players tonight. Cedar Rapids. Yeah, they're gonna get they're gonna try to empty the benches with uh you know, this is like an all-star game in a sense. It's just a novelty. Yes, you want to win the game, but how many guys are going to say, I got a chance to play on All this right. field? And you feel that sometimes, that burden as a manager. So, Greg, I thought it was interesting. You were talking about our pitcher here and how he started off the season as their best pitcher. Yeah. Yeah, he, he was the season opener uh, for them on April 8th and won that game. Got off to a great start. Uh, Aaron Rosick went 6 and 2, the 3 3 5 ERA, in his first 12 games, 11 starts. But he missed the end of June. He tested positive for COVID since he came back from COVID. He's one and three with an ERA over eight and a half. And that's in a span of five games. Yeah, and he just had, you know, it takes a, took, hits everybody different, right? And it looks like it took it a little toll on him physically. Mm -hmm. He's just starting to get back into shape again. And he hasn't been able to have that, that same location and feel yet as we're seeing a little bit tonight. First baseman Dylan Schrum swinging through that changeup. I, I, I love his delivery on the changeup. I just would like to see him throw the fastball inside more. Because if you continue to throw the same changeup away, 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 you, you have a chance of making a mistake with the ball in. 
Slow roller to third base. Seth Gray charges and makes the play. Nice. But not before the Blue Sox take a 2 nothing lead. We wanted a ball in the cornfields. We got one. Thanks to Juan Carlos Negret. Davenport up by a pair. Get a dozen shrimp for only one dollar with any steak entree only at Applebee's. With United Healthcare, access to quality health care may be closer than you think. You'll find coverage solutions for virtually any budget, no matter where life takes you, with United Healthcare. So access to care may be closer than you think when you choose United Healthcare. Learn more at UHC.com. Hey, Orlando business owners, stop overpaying for internet and phone. Switch to Spectrum Business. You'll get faster internet and get Orlando's best deal for small businesses. For only $49.99 a month, you'll get 600 megabits per second of blazing fast internet. Add business phone for just $19.99 a month. Taxes and fees included. Call 888-845-4779. Count on Spectrum Business to deliver faster speeds at an incredible price with over 99.9% .9 network reliability. It's the best choice for your business. Other providers don't even come close. Just $49.99 a month for 600 megabit internet. Add phone for $19.99 a month. No taxes, no fees, and no contracts. Switch to Spectrum Business and get Orlando's best deal for small businesses. Call today, 888-845-4779. Third member of our broadcast team, John Paul Morosi, uh, shucking corn. Look at him. Go to work, JP. It's not as easy as it looks. I worked in a produce department at a grocery store. I became quite good at it. Yeah. I know. I've heard some of your stories from the grocery store. Oh, I got lots of them. Man. John Paul Morosi has lots of stories connected to the Midwest League, where these two teams reside in single-A league. Pat Winkle, the catcher. We'll hear from John Paul a little later, other than just shucking corn. Hey, I'll tell you what. I had some of the corn they were cooking over by the uh, the film house where they filmed the, the movie and all you saw all the people walking in so I got some corn Greg I tell you, I love corn it's like <laughs> favorite I love that's one of my favorites I love corn I took one bite and went whoa you gotta have some of this and ended up giving everybody in the cart so it was amazing just it was like butter and some cheese and some salt it was it was nice it was really nice as if fans weren't already envious of the 8,000 fans that are in attendance here in Dyersville, Iowa. Harold is just walking you through how delicious the corn actually is. When you have this much corn, you can experiment with things you probably never even imagined putting on the corn to eat. And they perfected it. And it's super fresh. And I'm waiting for some more tonight. It's like sushi in San Francisco, right? Like it's fresh. Exactly. I tell you what, our man uh, is An mowing another strikeout for Chandler Champlain. A reminder, folks, if you build it, they will come. And they meaning Kevin Millar and Steven Nelson. An intentional talk from right here in Iowa. Live coverage leading up to the Cubs and Reds at the Field of Dreams. Intentional talk live from Iowa Wednesday and Thursday for Eastern on MLB Network. Wander Javier takes a breaking ball for a strike. He's the shortstop batting seventh for Cedar Rapids. That was his best curveball tonight. <clears throat> Looks like he's just getting into it. That one had a little bit more bite than the others. The others were rolling. That had a sharp bite to it. That was a little harder. Tried to reach it down. But it looks like he's really starting to get into that flow and in that groove. Okay, tell us about Mr. Javier. Well, Wander Javier uh, is one of the top defensive shortstops in their league. You see his numbers on the year. He, he had a shoulder injury last year, and that really zapped some of his offensive thump this year. Woo, stay with it, stay with it, stay with it. Cam Williams, oh, oh got him. Woo, pick it, Cam. 
Dylan Shrum at first, a nice play to dig it out, but Cam Williams. Wow, stayed with that ball nice. You know, that was, if you know you got the arm strength, and that ball's hit so sharp, off the ricochet, stayed with it, and the urgency to get rid of this ball make then a great play by the first baseman. That's beautiful. You know, Cam Williams' dad, Reggie, yeah, played a number of years in the big leagues with the Angels and different teams, and uh, has always worked with Cam and talked about Cam. Cam was at the University of Texas. He always kept texting, sending me, and raving about Cam. First time I've seen him in person. It's a nice play. Strong nice. arm. Jefferson Morales, the DH, batting eighth. Testing Williams yet again. He's got a nice arm. He does. So does Chandler Champlain. Two easy innings. Bottom of the second coming up from Iowa. Feels good to be back. Feels good to be back, right? to be back. This is a charged lemonade from Panera, and it's a force of nature. A delicious boost of plant-based caffeine from guarana and green coffee extract. Enjoy these and more when you join Panera's Unlimited Sip Club. Thank you for taking care of Lorenzo. For a noticeably smooth shave, Dollar Shave Club. Bravo! You use the Quicksilver card from Capital One with no annual fee and unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase, every way. That makes you the hero of every purchase. Ah! What's in your wallet? Welcome back to MILB at Field of Dreams, presented by Capital One. John Morosi reporting from the best spot of the entire diamond here, next to the right field foul pole, best seat in the house. I must confess, Greg, I did spend the summer when I was 16 years old working on the Yagalia Farm in Hampton Township, Michigan. I was picking corn. As you can see from what happened before, I was not shucking much corn. My skills are really, really inept. I need to go back to shucking school, I believe. But what a gorgeous day. We're even seeing, seeing now more ears per corn, more kernels per ear, I should say, uh, than we saw even a year ago because the seed was changed. The yield is better. The sun is shining. This place, Greg, as magical as ever. I just have to tune up before yeah. I return to shuck some more. You got to work on it. And I can help you with that. Rucker's going to make the play at second base as he throws to Aaron Sabato. What you have to do there, John Paul, is the stem has to be snapped off. So you take, you break the bottom stem, and then you pull and shuck with it. You can't peel at the top. It becomes very messy, which is what happened in your hands. Man. JP, the only thing I know about shucks is ah shucks. Which you say a lot. <laughs> <laughs> he went back to work. Oh, look out. Never got out of his hand properly. He was hit from the minute it was leaving his hand. Parker Bates hit by a pitch. So Bates will take his impressive mustache to first base. That's what I was going to say. We get a close up on Parker's mustache, guys. I, you know, it's unbelievable. Greg was actually admiring this thing from up close. Yeah, I was talking to him before the game. I didn't have as much time to grow mine, Harold. <laughs> yeah. You give me some credit. Paul Wayne. Does it look like Aaron Rosick is changeup happy? I was just going to say that. I think he's throwing too many. We got Cam Williams at the plate right now. Just getting back from an injury. He's got 10 home runs, you see. Starting to get back playing against switch hitter. Power from both sides. And he'll shoot that ball a lot the opposite field. 
But yeah, he, he's throwing a lot of change-ups. And when you see that, you go back to the bench. And as a hitter, you try to eliminate pitches, right? But a pitcher that throws that many changes, eventually you're able to see it out of his hand. It doesn't become deceptive anymore. The 1-1 one -one pitch has popped up. Uh-oh, this is trouble. Kyler Fetko camps under it. And with a very bright sky, puts it away for the second out. Nice. Now look at your defensive alignment. Soleri, Holland, Fetko, your outfield. Seth Gray, Wander Javier, strong shortstop defensively. Jake Rucker, Aaron Sabato, who's really worked on his defense at first base. Many scouts believe he was a DH only when he was drafted in the first round. Great power out of the ACC. Well, why? But he has worked and wants to be a good defensive first baseman. They believe he is a quick riser in the twin system. Aaron Sabato has a single already in this game. Back to the top of the order, Tyler Tolbert. You know, Greg, one of the things Tyler and I talked about was, you know, trying how to raise that batting average and take advantage of his speed. And if I look around, I survey now, and I see the third baseman, like, all the way back, that's easy money for him. That's a base. That's a hit. I know, Harold, but it's tough, right? You want to you wanna be one of the guys that puts it into the corn. How many yep. times you get to take hacks in Dyersville, Iowa? Well, that, the, I'll, I'm, I'll give him the pass tonight. I'm saying those are the things that we discussed to look around. I'm with you. I'm not button. They can play out in left field. I'm <laughs> right. swinging to try to hit a ball at the ballpark. But with his skill set, the ability to steal bags, on base percentages, premium to him. That means a lot. That gets him rising to the big leagues. You know what I'm saying? And and he's not going to be a guy that's going to be hitting 40 home runs. No. So you can't take that same approach as the big guy that's going to hit 40. You got to look around for your hits. But tonight, try to act like you're hitting 40. <laughs> like that swing. Yes, he strikes out swinging, and Aaron Rosek completes the second inning of work on a beautiful night in Iowa. 2 nothing, Davenport. Living your best life means something different to everyone, especially when it comes to health care. That's why Mercy One offers compassionate, personalized care. We are here for you with one team of experts providing access to the primary care and highly rated specialty care you need easily and conveniently. So go ahead, live your best life. We're with you every step of the way. Mercy One, your best life, our one purpose. Ace is the only national hardware retailer that carries Benjamin Moore paint at over 4,000 stores. And only Ace offers the extra mile promise. We'll help you get everything you need to paint in one trip or delivery is free. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. There's a monster problem, and our hero needs solutions. So she starts a Miro to brainstorm. Shoot it, suggests the scientists. So they shoot it. Hmm. Back to the Miro board. Dave says, feed it. And Dave feeds it. Just then, our hero has a breakthrough. Shoot it. Camera. Shoot a movie. And so our humble team saves the day by working together on Miro. And here we go, folks. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is pretty sweet. As good as it gets. Let's go! Oh my goodness! Sensation! MLB returns to the field of dreams. The Cubs take on the Reds Thursday at 6 on Fox. MILB at Field of Dreams is presented by Capital One. What's in your wallet? And sponsored in part by Lunchables, built to be eaten. And this beautiful venue, Field of Dreams Ballpark, built a couple years ago. Look at that. And it's just gorgeous. I mean, that shot right there, that's what the, the fielders are looking at. How cool is that? Chandler Champlain back to work. Hi. First pitch strike. John Paul Morosi. I believe you're 
You're by the manual scoreboard. Is that right, JP? I am with Luke, Dylan, and Mia, my teammates up here. Doug Jacklin is here as well. We have all made our way a, a beautiful climb up to get to the hand operated scoreboard. What a thrill, Greg. I think this might be the best seat the entire house, as my friends here can attest. Uh, as you alluded to before, this, this park was modeled after old Comiskey Park with the center field bullpens. We'll probably see some activity there as the evening goes along. But as Harold was saying, Greg, it was really important the way that they oriented the ballpark. Remember, at any Major League Stadium, the left field line has to be oriented along basically north okay so home to left field corner is north and so that's why we are about a thousand feet away from where the from where the original movie site is so they had to build this facing effectively the movie site it's certainly that the sight lines for outfielders at this time of night might be a little challenging but what a gorgeous gorgeous setting greg this ball is driven to left it's going to get down to the track looking for two Holland's going to get in there. Will Holland make that Alaric Soleri in there with a double? He caught a first pitch slider that time and hammered it. Hey, JP, we're going to come back to the hit in a second, but I want to put a period on that Comiskey Park. You know who made the last out at Old Comiskey? Was that you, Harold? Yes, it was. Oh, my goodness. Tell us the story. Facing Jack McDowell, ground out second. Last game ever played there. I made the final out. What a great ballpark, too. Just the history there. The, the double decker look very similar to Tiger Stadium. Uh, the, the history in this park, and I would, I would say this, too. The barn in center field, the barn batter's eye, has a little bit of a lighter hue to it this year than it did last year. So maybe even a better hitting backdrop. I want to know who is going to be Tim Anderson tonight. Who's going to be the star here in Dyersville? That's a great question. I think people want to know on Thursday night, Cubs Reds, will it be able to recreate the magic from Yankees White Sox last year? Fingers crossed that it does, because that was quite the moment. <laughs> Seth Gray at the plate. And that fastball from Chandler Champlain, Harold, it's been hard to pick up. They're not catching up to it. They're not catching up to it, and they're taking the big swings because they're trying to go out there. But no, what the, the deception on the high. For 12 to 6 breaking ball and the fastball has been the biggest difference. He got hit on a slider. It looks like he's kind of gone to a little bit of a slider. But if he gets that big tilt. Uh oh, let's see. Two athletes going at it. Ooh. I think it's going to work out. Oh my. They say Soleri gets back to second base safely. I don't know if he got him. I don't know if they have replay in this game. He should have just went to the base. It's hard to hit a moving object. So in that, that play, I think he has time to just go to the back, dive to the base, don't go after the runner. He got his foot, but by then you're, you're allowing the judgment of an umpire to make a decision. Or if I go to the bag, that's easy to see. And that comes with experience and time. I've done that. I chased after runners and realized, hold the time, they're going to the same place I'm going to. If I can beat them to the bag with some force, I'm faster. So if we can catch that back, guys, where he was like, when he catches the ball, you'll see the vantage point. We had a great angle right there where he actually had a chance to really ball. beat him to the base if he goes straight to the bag. I can understand why Tyler Tolbert wanted to tag him. He makes the catch right above the dirt, and the first thing he sees is Alaric Soleri. He's right in his eyesight. I got to tag that guy. He's in front of me. Yeah. And for the runner, you're thinking, okay, was it a short hop? Was it there or not? They got him. Oh, you're right. Chandler Champlain with a real quick move to second base, and they get Soleri anyway. That had to feel good for Tyler Tolbert. Good look at the young shortstop. A pickoff at second. And the top of the third. Oh, I love America. You have the only place I truly trust with my key for my auto. Meineke! <laughs> oh, oopsies! Meineke even has financing options, which lets me fix now and pay over time. These options even please Friedrich, but it's three times Deutschland's most disagreeable man. Mm. I want to tickle him so bad. He loved it! I only trust Meineke with Meineke! The City Custom Cash Card automatically adjusts to your spending. Hi. You don't have to keep tabs on rotating categories. This is the only rotating I care about. It does the yeah. work for you. Earn cash back and automatically adjust to your top eligible spend category with the City Custom Cat. This guy was driving way over the speed limit. 
look at the damage. This guy was going a lot over the speed limit. Look at the damage. This guy was going a little over the speed limit. Look at the damage. I'm not like those other hotels. I'm what you call boutique. I'm into intimate conversations, leather lounge chairs, and soaking up the city's atmosphere. I'm looking to provide a more unique experience. Do you like single origin coffee over a game of chess? Me too. And don't you just feel like everything sounds warmer on vinyl? I do. Tomorrow on MLB Network, the Cincinnati Reds head to Queens to take on Pete Alonso, Francisco Lindor, and the Mets. It's Wednesday afternoon baseball live at 1 Eastern, presented by Corona Premier. Beautiful sunny skies in Dyersville, Iowa. It doesn't get any better. Steps I mean, away from the movie set. The weather the is incredible. It's great. Our outfits are incredible. Yes. Including John Paul Morosi. Very fashionable out there by the manual scoreboard. And I'm going to tell you what, the scoreboard is a great background texture for his uniform, for his outfit. It fits perfectly with the scoreboard. It does. <laughs> Aaron Rosick goes back to work. Bottom of the third. The Blue Sox, part of the Royals organization, they lead the Bunnies of the Minnesota Twins organization. Now, if you're Googling the Cedar Rapids Bunnies, as you see moments ago, John Paul Morosi uh, putting up the zero on the manual scoreboard. Better he than I. Woo! Wilson sends this to left. It's going to the corn. Peyton Wilson gives the Blue Sox their third run of this ball game. Tell you what, he had a really good AB, Greg. Obviously, in and in a home run. But the first pitch was he, he looked to punt. And what that did is allow him to track it. He wasn't picking up the pitches before his last AB. Now you're tracking the ball. It's the other thing that happens when you maybe show a punt. Then they came back with the fastball right there. He gets the pitch he hammers for the homer. Beautiful. Watch this. Try to challenge him in a little cutter. And that might be a, a cutter or a little changeup that just cut in. Location wasn't bad. Yeah, but it ran in on his hands with nothing on it. And then bye bye. Yeah, he put something on it. Peyton Wilson, second rounder, the 2021 draft out of Alabama, goes yard. Our second home run of this ball game. Erard Gonzalez, the second baseman, batting third for the Davenport Blue Sox. He's at the plate on deck. The guy with the two-run shot. In the bottom of the first, Gonzalez Carlos might not Negre see a fastball the rest of the night. This is one fast. He's got him so twisted. He had three ugly swings on on changeups last time. First at bat, changeups is swinging like crazy man. He takes a fastball. And here comes your changeup. Oh. He tried to get him. He's gonna throw another one. I would throw it until he swung wild again. Aaron Rosick has terrific tumble on that changeup. As you see, Peyton Wilson. There it was. Breaking ball. Too oh. short. Oh, Javier kicks it. That'll be an E6. Javier's like, you gotta be kidding me, man. I slipped on my first play. I had a chance to throw a guy out, show off my arm. This one here eats me up a little bit. And he's one of the top defenders. You can see this ball jump up. There's been a lot of traffic right around there at second base, right? So I learned this, Greg. In spring training, I was with the Mariners, and I'm playing against the Cubs, and Ryan Sandberg's a second baseman. And he was always replacing divots. I played on AstroTurf in Seattle, you know, but he'd always walk over and, and like, manicure in the field. I'd come back out the second, it'd be like they came out and dragged it. And he'd be doing it with his cleats. And anytime there's big traffic, you have to clean your area. And I went, oh, okay. So these guys haven't figured that out yet. This place is beat up. You got to. Clean the track. You don't need to wait for the groundskeeper. Just saying, a little tip for you guys out there watching and playing. Juan Carlos Negret trotted around the bases his first time up. I mean, think about it. You got on metal spikes. They're like grades. 
So if you use it properly, you can grade the field with your feet. Human rake. Exactly. Two balls and a strike to 23 year old DH from Cuba. Open stance. He's been red hot lately. The 2 1 pitch. Now it's 3 and 1. Well, he's seeing the change up nice. Peyton Wilson's home run, his seventh of the year, makes it 3 0. Davenport, the Blue Sox. You can tell when a guy's hot and he's picking up the pitches before it's delivered. He, he, even though he swung wild at that, it was a good swing. He knows exactly what he's trying to do with the play. He's already homer tonight. Looks like he's trying to go to right with that ball running away from him. But he's seeing the ball really well. What do you throw here if you're Rozak? I throw him another changeup. The 3 2 pinch. And it's sent to right center field into the gap. It'll roll all the way to the wall. This could play another run. They're waving him home. And it will make it 4 nothing Blue Sox. I'll tell you, he's seeing the ball great. The pitch before looked like I said, he looked like he's trying to go to right field. This one caught a little bit more of the plate, and he just rocketed it to right center. If he tries to pull this ball, he pulls off it. And that's what your pitcher's hoping he happens. But this ball's there, and he just hammers it. Great swing. Way. Beautiful. We were warned by the fine folks of Davenport while Carlos Negrat's hot. Look out for this young man, and he drives in another. Meeting on the mound is a chat with Aaron Rose, who's fresh off his shortest outing of the year. He's already given up four runs in two plus tonight. Well, when you're struggling, you want the shortstop to catch that ball to start the inning, right? It just kind of changed the whole thing. When you're struggling, you need to get outs when the opportunity comes. Like I said before, if you're Googling these teams, you're like the Davenport Blue Sox. Well, that's what they were referred to between 1913 and 1937. They're now the Quad City River Bandits, the high A affiliate of the Royals. Kale Emshoff, the catcher, swings through the first pitch of his at bat. Look at the Quad Cities River Bandits. Their team history established back in 1901. The reason why they're being referred to as the Blue Sox tonight, this is the era of shoeless Joe Jackson, the throwback uniforms where they were the Hi. Davenport Blue Sox. Wow. I remember when I played against Quad Cities, it was the Quad Cities Cubs. That Henry Cotto was their big stud player back then. I remember Henry Cotto. He's a good player. I, I played with Henry years later in Seattle. He got traded over to us, and he got on this one hot streak where he was a guy that would play once or twice a week, and it would just tear you up, right? He got on a hot streak, and like, they're overplaying me. I'm going to get overexposed. <laughs> This ground ball to third. Seth Gray has it. First out, the bottom of the third. Got him to roll over. All right, as for Cedar, Cedar Rapids, Rapids, tonight they're being referred to as the Bunnies, and you'll see on your screen why. They were known as the Bunnies from 1904 to 1932. Again, we're in the shoeless Joe Jackson, connected to the movie Field of Dreams, the throwback uniform. So tonight, they're not. They're not the Colonels. The high A affiliate of the Twins, they're the Bunnies. And I think Cedar Rapids back in the day when I played against them were the Reds affiliate. So yeah. you, you had a storied tenure in the Midwest League, Harold. <laughs> One season, but it was awesome, man. I loved it. It's a good time. Dylan Shrum, 0 for 1, takes a ball upstairs. Because you really had, you had uh, Wisconsin. And Iowa pretty much were the states you travel to. So you go on the road trip and you play all through the Midwest in that sense. And uh, the travel was easy. We had a couple of bus rides for 14 hours, but for the most part, you get where you're going and you play around the area. It makes sense. People want to know why two high A minor league teams. Well, they're both located less than two hours away from where we're at right now in Dyersville, Iowa. So for the minor league Field of Dreams game, you want to fill this place up. And there are fans of these two teams that have showed up. 
at Field of Dreams Park, and, and what a venue, what a crowd on hand. And uh, that message is right. If you build it, 8,000 minor league baseball fans will come, and that's where we are tonight. Well, and the thing about it is we're, we're loving this, and the players are loving it. Tomorrow, they go back and play the rest of their schedule. Mm -hmm. You know, so you don't want to get too far away in proximity from where you got to be to play your next games or next series. Just talking to a couple of players too, as we see the walk he hits down the first. They they play six game series in the minor leagues. So you may, have, you know, you want to. You They're going play. back to Davenport for the last five games yeah. of that series. So River Town is digging in the right fielder. Let's send it down to John Paul Morosi, who's standing by with a guy that helped make this score three nothing. Peyton Wilson. Peyton Wilson joins us now. Peyton, congratulations on this home run. How do you describe this moment that you just enjoyed here in Dyersville? Yeah, it was pretty cool. Probably one of the cooler home runs I've ever hit in my life, for sure. Just playing at this field, it's a one lifetime opportunity. I'm just glad to be here and glad I got one out. It's a pretty cool uh, experience so far, yeah. How do you take the, the balance, Peyton, of, of taking it all in, but then also really wanting to make the most of your moment? Yeah, it's a hard thing to do. You know, like you got the pregame nerves and everything, and then once the game starts, you kind of just got to go out there and play and have fun and just keep doing your thing. So it was really hard to come in here. Well, everybody, it's the biggest minor league stadium that we've played at so far. So it was hard, but, I mean, it's good to – once you, like, first inning, you kind of get the nerves Woo! off, and it's all good after that. So I know you're from a great athletic family, Peyton. What advice uh, did your siblings or, or mom and dad tell you about What's playing up? in a moment like this on a stage like this? Yeah, I mean, just go out there and have fun, you know, just uh, – you know, you, I prepare good, I work hard, so I just go out there, let everything take care of itself, and just go out there, be myself, and have some fun while I'm doing it. Now, did I hear right that you were thinking about potentially bunting on, on that first pitch, Peyton? Yeah, I bunted at a curveball, and I missed it by about a foot, so I'm glad I got the head out on a fastball and got one out of here, so it's good, good thing. <laughs> and finally, you think about just the, the bus ride over here. What was the conversation like, Peyton, with your teammates? What guys were saying from all around the world, getting a chance to see what minor league baseball is like here in Iowa? You know, I mean, on the way here, we were all just talking about how cool it's going to be. You know, on the way here, it's just a lot of corn like this. So, like, oh, we're going to be playing with that today, you know? And then just we all talked about the movie and things like that. And just how it's one of a lifetime opportunity. It's got to make the most of it. Go out there and have fun with the 30 guys or so that we got here. Peyton Wilson, one of the heroes here in Dyersville this evening. Peyton, thanks so much for your time. Yeah, thank you. More from the Field of Dreams after this. Meet three sisters. The drummer, the dribbler, and the daydreamer. The dribbler's getting hands-on practice with her Chase First Banking debit card. The drummer's making savings simple with a tap. Round of applause. And this dreamer, well, she's still learning how to budget, so mom keeps her alerts on full volume. Hey! What? It's true! And that's all thanks to Chase First Banking. Freedom for kids, control for parents. One bank with tools for both, all with no monthly service fee. Chase, make more of what's yours. Thank you for taking care of Lorenzo. For a noticeably smooth shave, Dollar Shave Club. No one knows where it comes from. Why some have it and some don't. It's the fighting spirit. It consumes fear and weakness. It stands ready to fight whatever shape the battle takes. Because as long as there are battles, there will always be Marines. We just moved, so there's millions of people. Dahlia's in bloom, over nine acres. When we started, we grew a quarter of an acre. Now I'm taking on new products on the right. We always dreamed of having this property, so. I want to make my yard look as beautiful as butters here. Butters, how you doing over there? We do both vegetables and. Largemouth bass? Yep. We've got tons of them, don't we, buddy? There are millions of ways to make the most of your land. Learn how to make the most of yours at deer.com. Shout out, mom and dad, in the stands right now. Shout out to my girlfriend Taylor. Her and her family are in the stands right now. Shout out Nana and Papa, Fog and Papa. <laughs> Parker Bates, kind enough to wear a microphone for us tonight here at the Field of Dreams game. He got a shout out to the right people, right? <laughs> yes, he did. Derek Molina is the new pitcher for Cedar Rapids. Bases loaded situation. One out, 
Parker going for the big grand slam put this thing out of reach Homer Molina has been very good. This is a team that their bullpen has been outstanding 61 and 41 their record. This is set deep to center. Should be plenty deep enough to get the Blue Sox fifth Ooh. run home. And the throw not caught but no one will advance five nothing Davenport. Tell you what that was a heck of a throw from the center fielder. Will Holland watching Will cut this thing loose. Well, what do you got to lose. You know you got the pitcher backing up. You're not going to throw the guy out at home. They're tagging up. Let it air. It's a good throw. It's an opportunity for all these young men to show their talents. If it's on the mark we got to play. This is a heck of a throw. If you look at the base runner compared to when that ball lands, if it's on the mark, we got to play at third. Cam Williams, the third baseman, is up next. We saw Cam on the right side. Now we get to see him left handed. Hitting 172 as he began play tonight. Does have 10 home runs on this minor league season. Two aboard, two outs, bottom three. When you're seeing a lot of guys 24, 23, 26, right? 25. That goes all the way back to the COVID season. We had such a backlog in college football baseball, and it led to minor league baseball as well, because you sat a whole season in the minors. They did not play in 2020. So if you're in the minor leagues, you had no season. Mm -hmm. So guys got backlogged. Colleges got backlogged and they've gave guys an extra season that came back for their fifth or sixth year in some cases which made them older than normal for levels like this. Yes. Able. And if you look at even the College World Series this year you look at Notre Dame the, one, the run they went on there was a lot of older rosters or 23 24 year old playing on those rosters in college. Hitters count for Cam Williams. The switch hitter batting ninth for the Blue Sox. The 2 1 pitch. Skied to center. Holland near the track. And he has it. Wow. But not before Davenport sent another ball into the corn. Three runs in the bottom of the frame to the fourth we go from the Field of Dreams. Allergies don't have to be scary. Spraying Flonase daily stops your body from overreacting to allergens all season long. Psst, psst. Flonase, all good. It's 5 a.m. and I feel like I can do anything. We've been coming here since 1868. There's a lot of cushy desk jobs out there, but this is my happy place. There are millions of ways to make the most of your land. Learn more at deer.com. game can't be contained by a stadium or boxed in by a flat screen. The spirit of baseball is all around us. And wherever it's being celebrated, MasterCard is there when the game belongs to all of us, priceless. When you have auto glass damage, choose Safe Flight. We can come to you and replace your windshield. Here you go. Wow, thank you. Bye. 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 Don't wait. Schedule now. Safe flight repair, safe flight replace. Wonderful moment here. Older brother throwing out a first pitch for his little brother to the Hall of Famer Frank Thomas. Who, by the way, joins us now in the booth here at the Field of Dreams, Hall of Famer Frank Thomas. Frank, you guys great keep to see dwarfing you. me, man. I mean, a <laughs> bunch of big guys. Uh, how, how special was that moment for you? It, it was incredible. But just to hear the story of this, and this little guy is taking care of his little brother, you know, through the sickest of times, the big brother's there with a big smile on his face. He was talking to him while I was down there. 
you know, saying, oh, Big Frank's here, you know, because his dad's a big White Sox fan. Is that right? And uh, the kid really, no response, but I saw his eyes. You know, he know I was there, and uh, brings a tear to your eyes. It really does. No, it, it, especially when you have kids yourself, you know, yes. to see somebody going through that, it, you, you can imagine it's difficult raising your kids enough as it is. Well, I tell people I've been through it. I, I lost my little sister who came here when I was 10 years old, and you know, for two years we went through that, and uh, you'll never, never get over it. I don't care how old you get, I still think about it, and that really was a moment that took me back there. So, put a big smile on my face as his little brother, just excited oh, to help his little brother. Uh, Talk about moment. excitement, Frank. This place here, absolutely incredible. Uh, have you enjoyed coming to watch the games here? Yes, and uh, it's magical. This place means so much to so many people that uh, it brings tears to your eyes. I was here over the last 10 months just watching people come to the movie site in wheelchairs, in, in, in the worst possible conditions ever, with a smile on that big face when they go around, you know, just walking around the field, playing catch, or just being pushed around the infield. It's just an amazing place, and it means so much to so many people. And, and clearly it means a lot to you. You are now involved in this location, in this, in this venue. Explain your involvement, Frank. I am the co-owner of the Field of Dream movie site, and I am the CEO of this new place. So um, it's magical. It's a legacy place for me now. I've been working 10 full months, 10 hour days. <laughs> uh, I've never worked this hard in my life, even though I play baseball like this. Right. Uh, but it's a lot of meetings, but my team is excellent, and they really, really helped out with everything. Now, I got to ask did last year's Yankee White Sox incredible Good moment as this ground ball the first will be the second out in the fourth? Champlain keeps rolling around. Uh, he's been terrific on the mound uh, for Davenport. Did that moment? inspire you to go, wait a minute, this could be even bigger. It brought a tear to my eye, I'll be honest. That game was magical last year. I mean, the Yankees, they came back later. I thought they were going to beat the Sox. But then Tim Anderson with the walk-off, it was a magical moment. Two days later, my partner called and said, hey, do you want to buy the Field of Dreams? And I was like, huh? You know, he said, we want to buy the Field of Dreams. I said, he said, I'm in, you're going to be in. And I said, I'm in, I guess I'm in. And uh, here we are 10 months later, 11 months later. It's, it's a thing of beauty, and I'm so excited about it. But Frank, it's not just, I saw Yankees, White Sox. You've talked already about people coming through here in wheelchairs and everything else. You have a real passion. I can hear the, yes. the tear in your voice, the connection that you have with this place. It goes beyond just grabbing this area for baseball only. Well, it started with the Stillman family, who were big White Sox fans. Denise Stillman, this was her vision, this was her dream. Uh, she had reached out to me many times to be a part of this thing. Uh, but it was, that was really at the end of my career. I didn't see the vision like I should have. But uh, I came in for three softball games. And saw the magic of the people wanting to be here. So it just it hit home to me last offseason when I was uh, going to be a part of this thing. And I haven't stopped since. I'll be honest. I've put in so many hours. It's just been crazy. And now well, well, you, you do great work with Fox. Thursday night will be the big game. Then the Cubs and the Cincinnati Reds. You, you mingle with a lot of current big leaguers. After that game last year, how many big leaguers said, I, I want to play in the field of dreams? <laughs> a lot of big leaguers. And hopefully we keep this game going for many years to come because it means so much to everybody. Uh, we're going to enhance this place. You can't take away from that movie site. It means too much. It's pristine to so many people. But we're going to build around this place. We got a plan for nine new baseball fields. We want to make it the mecca of youth sports in the Midwest. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I was just going to ask you what your vision is. You also have, you're in Big Ten territory. Yes. You hearing from colleges, softball, yes. Yes, baseball, Harold. everything else? Colleges are reaching out. They want to have tournaments here. They're thinking about it because we're going to we're going to build a real nice place here. You know, we're going to have nine baseball fields, four major league style fields. And they're going to be built by Bright View. I think we're working on that now. So they're going to be in this type of condition, this type of shape. We're going to be proud of it. And we're going to get this stadium remodeled here, ASAP. You want to stick around another half inning? Sure. Baseball with us? Yes. We're here with Mr. CEO, Hall of Famer Frank Thomas. Back to Iowa after this. a dozen shrimp for only one dollar with any steak entree. Now that's eating good in the neighborhood. With Drizzly, I can drop a huge selection of beer, wine, and liquor. I just open the app and it's at my door in under 60 minutes. Drizzly also lets me shop from multiple stores in my area and compare prices on thousands of products. Ding dong, Drizzly. Major choice. Get 5G coverage that goes yard. You're simply T-Mobile has more 5G bars in more places than anyone. Another reason T-Mobile is the leader in 5G. 
If you want the latest, greatest Apple products, you should look into a Spectrum store and then go inside one. The iPhone 13 Pro with cinematic mode and 5G, yeah, they got them. They're like, hee Alpine green too, sold. Oh, and they have the latest iPad Air, supercharged by the Apple M1 chip. Here are all your purchases. They're gifts from me to me. For the Apple products you want, the most reliable network and nationwide 5G, switch to Spectrum Mobile. During our summer of savings, Gary Yeoman's Ford's four locations have over 1,500 new Fords on the way. And with a huge shipment of brand new F-150s on the lot, now it's time to take your pick and save. Plus, take advantage of our back-to-school special, an additional $1,000 Yeoman's discount. We'll also give you up to a $1,500 gas card, enough for monthly fill-ups for well over a year. But our summer of savings ends soon, so don't wait. Click on GoYeomans.com and then come see why, Florida says. Go! It's minor league baseball at the Field of Dreams. First time ever. Blue Sox up five over the Bunnies. You're looking at Parker Bates. He's wearing a microphone for us tonight. And listen to who he found. <laughs> is, that, is that Frank Thomas? Yeah, that's what I thought, too. It is Frank Thomas. Holy cow. <laughs> yes, it is Frank Thomas, <laughs> who's back in the booth with us on MLB Network. Uh, Frank, I am excited to listen to you talk about your plans for this this area, not specifically just the movie set, this ballpark here. How many other ballparks are you planning on putting in here? Oh, we're going to have nine, nine fills, uh, five for Little League softball, uh, four Major League style, because we're going to do 13 to 17-year-old wood bat what? league. My goal is to get that bat, that wood bat in these kids' hands a little earlier. Yeah. Uh, just like the Latino countries. I mean, that just having that wood bat is special. Most of us don't get to use it until we're 18, 19 years old. So I want to start it here at the Field of Dreams. Yeah, and, and t uh, I was talking with Frank last week a little bit about this. And another thing he wants to do is we have so many former Major League and Minor League players out there. Yes. And getting them employed, involved, different things. Share a little bit of your vision for former ball players. Well, I look at the Major League level now. A lot of Major League players are out of work. I mean, they got to pass the game on. So if they can't be in the major league level, I think it's it's time to come to somewhere like the Field of Dreams where they can come and share what they've learned all these years and pass the game on to the new generation of kids. That's just what it's all about for me. Smooth play from Javier. Wander Javier who's had an eventful evening at shortstop. Yeah, but that, that play right there tells you why he's got some of the best hands in the organization. That was smooth. That was easy. That was sweet right there. Can I, guys, can I let you guys know that these A-ballers are the largest set of guys I've ever seen <laughs> in A-ball in my life. <laughs> I think Major League Baseball now is football. All these guys were huge down there. And that's six, coming three, from six, you. Four. That's coming from you. They were all looking me eye to eye before <laughs> that first pitch. I was like, I could not believe how big these guys are. It, it, it really has changed the game. The size of the players. I mean, Frank, you're you're working on, in TV still, so you're around all these major leaguers. But the minor leagues and the colleges are getting bigger, too. Why, why do you think that is? Well, that's why it's so competitive. And that's why they're paying the big all bucks. Right. Because it's hard to get to the, the major league level nowadays because the talent is, is just so much throughout these organizations now. Um, to see what I saw before the game, I'm telling you, it was like watching a football team playing baseball, warming up. And it made sense to have these two teams play in this minor league game, which I thought was a great idea. We, we opened our show and I said, I, I've never said these words to you, Harold. There are major sure. leaguers tonight who are envious of minor league players because they have yet to play at this venue. And these kids are excited, man. They were down there, you know, holding hands. They were giving it all. They were fired up. You should hear the chance in the dugout. I was really impressed. They really care about this game. And I can't wait to continue this with a lot more players in the near future. Frank, I came through here, and when you drive in, it's like the movie. The cars is one lane, and I start taking pictures. Did I not agree? It was, it was incredible. Mm -hmm. That in itself is a draw. I, I've talked to a number of people that don't go to Iowa that don't want to go by here. Well, the people in Iowa, they love baseball. They don't have a major league team, so they normally support the Chicago teams or the St. Louis team. So baseball is their life. They love it. They support. I'm just so happy to be a part of this and to enhance the sport here in the, in the state of Iowa because the people really want it and they care. So let's go back and talk about You talked about putting the wood bat in kids' age younger. Yes. Like putting the bat in their hands younger. Why is that and why do you think that's important? Well, I think it becomes a competitive edge. You know, swinging an aluminum bat to 18 years old, and then you put that wood bat in your hand. I remember going to the Cape Cod League. It was not the same. The average drop, the power drop. Um, get it in your hands a little younger. Have a 13-year-old, little Frankie. He's ready. He's a switch hitter. 
But uh, it's a difference when I put the wood bat in his hand and from the aluminum bat in his hand. Yeah. So I would like the kids to see the kids do it a little bit earlier in their life nowadays. Well, what the wood does, I like kids to hit with the wood. Even when I was in high school, my brothers who were professional ball players at the time made me hit with wood bats because it makes you have to hit the ball on the barrel. Square. You have to square it up. Peyton Wilson's done that twice tonight. A home run in this line drive to first base with two outs. You know, Frank, you're involved heavily in this area, and you admitted it was because of what happened last year. That was one of the most remarkable scenes I've ever seen in Major League Baseball. Uh, the, the camera angle from center field, it showcased how large well, no, Aaron didn't. Judge was, <laughs> how large Eloy Jimenez was. It's not the normal big league ballpark view. I just felt like from beginning to end, mm -hmm. ending with Tim Anderson, one of the most incredible nights of baseball I've ever seen. It was. It was a magical moment. That's why I got to thank my partner, Rick Heidner, who brought me aboard with this. I got to thank my COO, Dan Evans, who's been involved 40 years in Major League Baseball. He runs this place on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, he's living here. He's like left Denver, came here to be here in Iowa. Luckily, his fiance is from this area, this great area. So he's at home every day, and it's a lot of work. And Dan's been putting in many hours because he believes in the same dream I believe in, and that's Major League Baseball. Well, and you got a chance. Last year, we weren't here. Yes. You came, obviously, because you were working here. What was that like to be on the field, see Costner, all that? It was one of the best moments ever in Major League Baseball history. Yeah. I remember being out in that booth out there, and I can believe the noise of the crowd. I mean, it was 8,000, but it sounded like 30,000. They were into this entire ball game into the walk-up home run. So it's magical again. You can see it tonight, a sold-out sold crowd here for a minor league yes. game. Yes, yes. Uh, the, the energy's here. Uh, it's another magical moment, and it'll continue the rest of the week. I have to imagine all the home runs you hit in your Hall of Fame career, you would have loved to send a ball. <laughs> I'm a little jealous. <laughs> you know, that's something special to hit a home run into the corn. But I did hit one in the movie site into the corn over on the softball game. So <laughs> I do have that memory. <laughs> okay. That's a box you checked. Oh, my goodness. Frank, the only thing I could liken it to when I was talking to the players when I went to Fenway, I tried to hit every ball over the monster in batting practice, and I wasn't a home run hitter. And they were like, what are you doing? I'm like, I only get to play in Fenway one a few times in my life I'm doing this did you do that at any parks as well not really you know in Fenway I had a lot of hard hit singles you know how that goes <laughs> you if you don't get out of the box it's a single I don't care if you hit it 400 feet line drive it's a single so uh you know, look, I had Walt Radio X say, just hit the ball hard and run like hell. <laughs> you, you did that a lot. You hit the ball hard. Frank Thomas, this uh, was a joy. Guys, thank, thank you for you having so me. so much, Richard. So happy you guys came out. And uh, hopefully in the near future, we'll have a lot more plans for you guys to see. Because this is a magical place, and we're going to continue to enhance this place. Hall of Thomas. Famer Frank Thomas with us on MLB Network here at the Field of Dreams. Back after this. This is a charged lemonade from Panera, and it's a force of nature. A delicious boost of plant-based caffeine from guarana and green coffee extract. Enjoy these and more when you join Panera's Unlimited Sip Club. People who come to Cricket stay with Cricket. Little did we know that switching to Cricket was going to be a major upgrade. The 5G is like fast, fast. Switch for the speed, stay for the savings. Smile, you're on Cricket. Recently, we got a letter from someone who loves Reese's. A real letter, like on paper. Thanks, Artie, from Tonawanda. You can, uh, you can email us next time. With United Healthcare, access to quality healthcare may be closer than you think. You'll find coverage solutions for virtually any budget, no matter where life takes you. With United Healthcare. So access to care may be closer than you think when you choose United Healthcare. Learn more at uhc.com. Here's to those with homework this summer, group projects, and workshops. Here's to those with morning meetings, networking events, and Zoom sessions. Here's to those with summer jobs and the truck that goes to work with them. Ram, built to serve. Every dollar counts these days. So take advantage of this great offer from Ram Trucks. You buy John Deere, where we run so life can leap forward. Conducting business essential to life.
and sponsored in part by DeKalb Brand Corn, the official corn seed of MLB at Field of Dreams. And that DeKalb corn is off the chain, man. It was so good. Woo! Hey, Greg, you know how many families are watching this game tonight? Not just like our families are watching, but the players' families. Their connections and extends to a college or a high school or whatever it might be because I get a chance to see them on TV. Mm -hmm. And you think about it, when you go away to the minor leagues to play, you see a ground out to first base on a nice swing. But if you go to the minor leagues, a lot of people don't see you for years until maybe you show up in the big leagues to be on TV. Right. It's pretty cool. Well, if I'm a fan of the Kansas City Royals, I am locked in to Chandler Champlain, one of the three pitchers that were acquired in the Andrew Benintendi trade, and he has been outstanding tonight. Very impressive. From the jump street, he's been throwing strikes, getting ahead of hitters. And he's, he's got them riddled. They're trying to figure out what he might do. That elevated fastball has not been touched. No. Here's the trade. Ben Benintendi was having an outstanding season, hitting over 300 for the Royals. Three pitchers went to Kansas City. And back, back way. way is on this team. Yeah, I was going to say that, too. That's the one thing that, that Chandler's been able to do. That pitch right there, that up and in fastball, has set up everything he's done all night. It's not to hit a guy, but we don't see that brush back that often. If he can locate that in A ball, and then come back and drop this hook he's getting ready to drop on him right here or the high cheese that's that's a devastating thing he can be able to do wander javier the shortstop batting seventh at the plate against chandler champlain davenport up five nothing we're in the top of the fifth i i came back with the hard breaking ball after that pitch up and in but he didn't maybe he does it here he tried Got the ground out. Cam Williams throw to Dylan Shrum. Two down. Only 53 pitches so far. Five nothing. Davenport cruising. You think he wants to come out of this game? He's like, no way. What a night to have a nice game. At this venue. I never ever thought, I grew up in the Midwest, that corn was beautiful until I showed up here. <laughs> I, I took it for granted my entire life. Oh. Um, see what you missed out on? I completely did. I do like corn, though. Maybe yeah. not as much as you. I love corn. You know, I, the, the, my favorite corn is the sweet corn. Oh, yeah. Nice you a fan of cream of corn? Cream of corn is my all-time favorite. All-time what, favorite. What about corn nuts? I had two bags on the way <laughs> from Chicago. <laughs> so you were perfectly suited to call this game at the Field of Dreams. Absolutely. Absolutely. Two balls and a strike. Chandler Champlain. And I'm going to have some more corn brought up here tonight. You might see me chew on some nationally. Oh, wow. I'll do that on camera, no problem. I'm sure you could do both. Chew and give analysis oh. at the same time. Let you take over. He's putting a little cut on his fastball now, too. It's not just a hard overhand four seamer that we saw early in the game. They had a nice little adjustment. That has some run to it. Actually, the last couple of times he's had some run to that. We got a ball loose in the outfield. And fans playing catch. Packed house tonight. It's great to see. Parker Bates, a, a, a large personality. Having fun with the microphone on. We'll hear more from him as we go forward here from Iowa. 2-2 pitch on the hands of Morales. Oh, he thought about it. Yeah, he did. Champlain thought about it. He wanted it. He has been efficient tonight. A dominant performance from the young right-hander here at the Field of Dreams. We're back after this. Guten Tag. This is my auto, and this is my key. And for all auto repairs, I only trust one place with my key. My key. All the pay in America. My key is so honest. And uh, what's the word? A transparent. Rock and roll.
Mit E-Inspection, I look at the photographs und see the problem und fix mit my German eyeballs. Hey, you get some water damage. Wow, he's really good. I only trust meine key with meine key. This is the Gillette Labs with exfoliating bar. The bar in the handle removes unseen dirt and debris ahead of the blades for effortless shaving in one efficient stroke. Is this reality? Oh. The new DQ Reese's Take 5 Blizzard with five levels of flavor. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, Caramel Peanuts, and Pretzels. Next level. Someone just reached a new dimension. DQ, happy tastes good. With Drizzly, I can shop a huge selection of beer, wine, and liquor. I just open the app, and it's at my door in under 60 minutes. Drizzly also lets me shop from multiple stores in my area and compare prices on thousands of products. Ding dong, Drizzly. Start your day the way we start ours. Good morning. With MLB Central on MLB Network. Yes! Holy moly! Teeing up the day with news, stories, and special guests. Blink twice if you're being held captive. I almost didn't get in the building today, though. A full day of baseball starts with MLB Central. Oh. Watching this show is a great <laughs> move. That's my thought. Weekday mornings only on MLB Network. Let's go! baseball and if you're watching this broadcast you do this is bucket list material you have to come to Dyersville Iowa the movie set beautifully intact walk through the house get a tour of that Harold and I did the iconic 1989 film starring Kevin Costner it's Field of Dreams week and for the first time ever we are kicking off Field of Dreams week with a minor league baseball game. The Cedar Rapids Bunnies of the Minnesota Twins organization trailing 5 nothing to the Davenport Blue Sox, the single-A affiliate of the Royals. Matt Mullenbach is on the mound. Young man from Urbandale, Iowa. So, Harold, I got to believe this is a big moment for him. Huge moment. The only, this is the... Well, JP was telling a story. We'll let him bring it in later. I won't steal it. But, yeah, to be from Iowa and be able to come here and do that. JP, tell us the story, man. I'm not stealing your thunder. You used this in the <laughs> open, man. The open. Well, Harold, thank you very much. We have to make sure that we give Matt's full name for context here. Matt Kirby Mullenbach. Uh, he, that is, of course, named after Kirby Puckett. His parents, Dan and Barb, are both devoted Twins fans. And actually, Dan wanted to name him Kirby, first name Kirby. Uh, but obviously, there was some discussion and said, OK, the middle name is good. So Matt. Kirby Mullenbach pitching in his home state. We talked about this earlier, Harold. This is now the first native Iowan to pitch on this site in a professional game. And how about this? It's Matt's first ever day here in Dyersville. So he grew up in the state but had not visited here before. And to top the story off, Harold, his parents were engaged here in Dyersville. That's crazy, right? I talk about full circle. All right, JP, here's the, the Mullenbach family. It's a family tree. Talk to us. Well, here he is, of course, as a young Twins fan. His sister actually plays lacrosse at Old Dominion, so a really athletic family. His father, Dan, has worked for many, many years as an umpire here in Iowa. And we talked before about how Iowa State High School baseball is very unique because it actually takes place in the summer months instead of the spring season because of the weather. So it's just, again, a really special celebration for the Mullenbach family. Dan is here as well, I know, uh, watching very excitedly as his son pitches in this game. And he's and pitching well. He's pitching rather well. Two up, two down. He's been great this year. That's good stuff, JP. Thank you, man. Yeah, outstanding. He's running around all over the place getting these stories. That's that's pretty cool. I mean, we're friends with baseball fanatics who would come to Dyersville, Iowa, see the movie set, see the house, the swing on the porch, the field where they shot all those memorable scenes, and, and they would think this is a romantic place. This is where I need to propose. We know guys like that. Dylan Shrum drops one in in front of Will Holland for a two out single. Yeah, we do. Sad to say, but we do. We do. <laughs> um, we got a chance to tour the house, Harold. What'd you think of that? I thought it was really for, for them to, to make a house that stayed like that, to have that vision 
I don't think they most movie sets you build something and you don't expect it to last this many years later, right? Uh, it's just really pretty cool. It's always smaller when you go through and see a house. Yeah, that's in a movie. Yeah, absolutely. But it's an iconic house. I mean, when you think about television and movies, there's there's certain houses that stand out that you know you remember as really makes the movie. There, there was so much that happened in that house to make the movie work. Pitch misses outside. Yeah. It seems like every time River comes to the plate, we're talking about something. Yeah, no, we, we actually started off sitting on the bench, and then we actually went upstairs to the bedroom and looked out the bay window, which you just saw on your left, which is the moment in the movie where Kevin Costner sees the players for the first time. And this is oh, about no. how fast our tour was, too. <laughs> <laughs> I had to work a lot of people through there, man. Get this in and out of there real quick. But you see as you walk down in it, there's the kitchen where Kevin walks through and his wife's making breakfast in a hurry. Sits at the table. It's just it's one of the great movies. I think the best baseball movie of all time, The Field of Dreams. Uh, if it's not, it's right there. Uh, just because of the lines and the things that make make it stand out, you remember all those lines. There's great baseball movies, but do you remember the lines specifically yeah. what somebody said? I mean, nothing greater than you build it, he will come. Yeah. I, everybody knows that line. It's amazing. But my favorite character was Moonlight Graham. Oh, yeah. I mean, look at the actors that starred in this. First of all, you got star power. Yes. We start looking at that. I mean, that's incredible. Oh, look at the quotes. 39th top film quote of all time. Might be higher than that. Well, straight up, Parker trying to leave the house. Yes, again. he was. As you see the communication, Seth Gray does get it, get it, get it to end the fifth. As you see images from I really do have Moonlight an incredible Graham. movie, yeah, Moonlight Graham. There's and you got your cap on. I, I, I best be getting home. <laughs> City Custom Cash Card, a different kind of card that automatically adapts to you. Earn 5% cash back on your top eligible spend category, up to $500 spent each billing cycle. Apply now. Visit city.com slash custom cash. I get all the pickle I want without having to deal with the pickle jar. That's having to figure out how to open it? How to open the pickle, <laughs> how to jar. Open the pickle <laughs> jar. This has totally streamlined the pickle process for me. Sonic Big Dill Cheeseburger. Bending down to the ground to put on your shoes is kind of a pain, until now. Introducing new Skechers Slip-Ins, hands-free technology for your footwear. Just step in and off you go. Putting your shoes on has never been easier. Plus, they're even machine washable. Go hands-free with your footwear with new Skechers Slip-Ins. Odor is hard earned. Eliminating it is easy with OxyClean Odor Blasters. Work your magic. I'm the latest hashtag challenge. And everyone on social media is trying me. But if you don't have the right auto insurance coverage, you could be left to pay for all of this yourself. So get all state. Enjoy the show wherever you are with the MLB app with coverage of in-game highlights, pitch-by-pitch -pitch features, select live broadcast coverage, and more. You won't miss a beat. Download the MLB app today. And the World Baseball Classic is back. Qualifying rounds for the 2023 World Baseball Classic take place September 10th through October 5th in Panama and Germany. For more info, visit worldbaseballclassic.com. I mean, if we don't look like 1920s, wow. We look good, though, man. That's sharp. <laughs> oh, no one loves Greg and Harold more than Greg and Harold. <laughs> oh, he got smart that time. He jumped on that first heater he saw. Will Holland, the center fielder for Cedar Rapids, batting ninth. 
I mean, they've been sitting there watching Chandler just pump fastball strike after strike first pitch. Eventually, you got to make an adjustment when the man's mowing you down. And right there, first pitch fastball. That kind of changes everything. Let's see if it got him off his heater. It did. And it did get him off his heater. Yeah, five innings, three hits, six strikeouts. As you look at Will Holland, 24 years old. 60 pitches now, just 42 strikes. He's been dominant. This one sent to right field and it's driven. Sending town back. It will not be caught. Rivertown can't run it down. Holland thought about three, but stops, and this must be a ground rule double. Wow. That ball took off. And that's set up by hitting that first pitch fastball foul. Then he got to break a pitch, and now you're back in the fastball count. He gets a fastball, he can handle it, he gets it down a little bit. And boom, he hammers it. And watch this ball. Nice effort. He runs with this, and he's thinking about cornfields and everything, everything else out there. <laughs> Ground rule double. But that was a nice at bat. John Paul Morosi with his JP. Who are you with right now? Greg, I am with perhaps the proudest father of them all here in the stadium right now. Dan Mullenbach is in his home state of Iowa, and he has just seen his son pitch in this game. Clean, uh, <laughs> clean inning. <laughs> a clean inning. I have to make sure I mention that. So uh, how did your emotions track during that inning, Dan? Uh, I was fine until the walk. <laughs> Rock, rocks are going to kill you and haunt you. We all know that. So, And then I was saying on that big pop-up, you know, uh, Bert Blylevin always says the pitchers are the best athletes. <laughs> but I got the third baseman mom and dad behind me, and we're calling Matt off. You know? So beautifully said. Well, we we talked in already on the show about how Dyersville's had an important role in your family story long before tonight. What can you share with us? Well, I uh, again played baseball on the weekends here after college. Uh, and my wife taught in Iowa, so this is a good meeting spot between Chicago and there. And uh, one weekend up at the Legion, you know, had a few beers and got engaged. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I will not I will not have to put you on the spot, Dan, and ask what is the better memory that you've had in Dyersville, either getting engaged or watching your son pitch on the field. I don't want to put you in a tough spot. Tie. <laughs> It's a tie. <laughs> Be beautifully said. Exactly. The, a, a brilliant answer, I would say, in that respect. And, and to, to be able to see Matt be on the field, Dan, I know certainly uh, it's quite a journey to get to this point. Uh, what are you proudest of as a dad when you think about the path to this night? Uh, it's tough. Uh, you know, you could have a bad outing and you might be done. You never know. So it's these guys are they have big will big hearts and it's it's tough you know especially pitchers oh my god it's every outing it's just tough but then you know a lot of these guys I mean they they know what they're doing they they have a bad outing and they they bounce back a day or two parents don't kids do <laughs> Dan, of course, you've worked as an umpire in this state for many, many years, also at the college level, including some of Matt's games uh, in the fall ball uh, to get ready for the season. What is unique about the baseball culture in this state? Well, uh, I think we're the only state that plays high school baseball in the summer. We just completed, like three weeks ago, our, st our state tournament. Uh, so it's, it's hot, but I think it's the only state. And uh, from a college recruiting standpoint, I've always heard it's, a, it's tough. Because you know our our kids are still some of these kids just finished, uh, so you know, it's unique in that way. And uh, you know it's hot, <laughs> it's hot in the summer. So so now if in any of those fall ball games, did you ever have the plate for any of Matt's starts? And if so, how did that go? Well, I have tape. Uh, these were inter squad scrimmages, so they're not, they were non-sanctioned. But I, a lot of chirping from the other dugout about home cooking. But I didn't let that affect me. I, I got my zone. <laughs> <laughs> Beautifully said. And when you just look out at this scene, you think about all the work to make this field in your home state. When you look at just what a beautiful place we are in right now, what stands out to you the most? It's awesome. I mean, look at the, the corn rolls are straight. They are. <laughs> I mean, it's just a beautiful night. Uh, it's a lot different than when I was here 30 years ago, I'll tell you that, but it's <laughs> it's unbelievable, unbelievable. And when you see Matt after the game, what are you going to say? What? Uh, walks will haunt. <laughs>
I'm glad he got a strikeout, but he cannot walk people. I don't care what level. <laughs> Dan, that's uh, the proud words of a father and certainly uh, wise as well. And congratulations to you and your family on what an extraordinary night this is, Dan. Thank you so much. Thank you. Dan Mullenbach, father of Matt. Greg, uh, what, what an amazing story that we can share here tonight. Uh, JP, he, he's good TV. <laughs> oh, man, you're not kidding. Very candid. Champlain. He's going to be in trouble when this gets played back in a little while, though. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, but you, the one thing, Greg, uh, the takeaway for me, was the perspective of a minor league parent. When he said, one bad outing and you might be gone. That's true. You know, you just don't know. That's uh, If you're in college, you have a bad outing, you're like, hey, you're on scholarship, kid, you'll be okay. It's a little more edgy when you get to pro baseball. This is, this is real deal. Your career isn't guaranteed tomorrow for a lot of these guys. Right, right. But no, that was a great interview. I, I, I love his uh, perspective. Oh, he's such a dad. The walk. Uh, if we had a camera on him when Matt walked a batter, I'm sure Matt wouldn't even look over at his dad after he walked. I, I'd have liked to see what his reaction was on that first out because that ball was hit pretty good, right? It just didn't get out. Let's got a play here. Let's make a play. Aaron Sabato flies out to River Town. It was a good at bat. Terrific matchup. Chandler Champlain, one of the stars in the middle of the cornfields of Dyersville, Iowa. Minor League Baseball at the Field of Dreams it continues after this. We run our own way. We run together. We run boogie down. Let's get it. Let's go. We run strong. We run motivated. We run Sexy turtle pigs. We run for our kids. We run. We run. We run. We run. We run. Come run with us. Come run with us. Come run with us. Come run with us. <laughs> Panera chefs have crafted a masterpiece. Succulent seared chicken. A secret aioli. Clean ingredients in a buttery brioche roll. Made fresh to leave you speechless. Panera's new chef's chicken sandwiches. One dollar delivery fee on our... It's the summer sales event at your local Ford dealer. Feel the freedom of summer in a new Ford. See it all with a massive touchscreen in your F-150 truck. Or let the sun shine in with a twin panel moonroof in your Explorer SUV. Go new places with available all-wheel drive in your Escape SUV. We'll build your Ford to help you feel the freedom of summer. Get 2.9 on in-stock F-150s or custom order a 2023 F-150 and lock in 2.9 plus get 1,000 custom order cash. Did you know trading in your car at a dealer could cost you money? A recent study found consumers who trade in their car pay an average of $990 more. So don't trade in. Sell it to We Buy Any Car. Learn more and get your free online valuation now at WeBuyAnyCar.com. Find out how much your car's worth at WeBuyAnyCar. Welcome back to MILB at Field of Dreams, presented by Capital One. Plus two. A beautiful night here in Iowa. It's Greg Amsinger, Harold Reynolds, John Paul Morosi with you. Big league action taking place, but there's no other place I'd rather be. As Tyler Palm takes the mound for Cedar Rapids. You see his numbers on the year, ERA a hair over four. 40 and a third, 29 strikeouts, more of a pitch to contact guy. Getting an opportunity here at the Field of Dreams as his team finds itself down by five. Man, this is perfect weather. Amazing. It is a beautiful night. Kicking off Field of Dreams week, we're going to be here live tomorrow. We'll be on MLB tonight. Make sure you tune in. Thursday night will be on before the big game, Cubs Reds, which you can see on Fox Thursday night. I think they dropped a big gallon of bug spray around too. There's no bugs. <laughs> it was beautiful. It's perfect. You noticed the most interesting things, Harold. <laughs> I can't say I'm surprised by that. Huh? Ty Tyler Palm, he's a tall glass of water, Harold. Yes, he is. Six foot nine, 226 pounds. One of the tallest pitchers in, in baseball, not only just in the minor leagues, 
And that takes a little while for big guys to develop the delivery, repeated delivery. And to see him throw a changeup, that's impressive. Because most tall guys, to get that leverage and be able to control a changeup, a lot of times you hang it. He kept that one down low. It's nice. Cam Williams at the plate. That one misses away. Three balls and a strike. We're in the bottom of the sixth inning. Juan Carlos Negret, the cleanup hitting DH, hit a two run shot in the first inning. Peyton Wilson, highest ranked prospect on this single A affiliate team for the Royals, hit a home run his seventh of the season. As that's a leadoff walk in the bottom of the sixth. Well, what's interesting about A ball now, as compared to maybe 20 years ago, you can jump from A ball to the big leagues. It is about need. And, and he, you're looking at his age, age 27. If he figures it out quick, then they jump it. There's no need for him to go get seasoning and all these other things. They're looking at, can you repeat? Can you do the things we need to do? There's a use for his arm angle or situation, or whatever it might be, that can get you up real quick. Back to the top of the order, it's shortstop Tyler Tolbert. Infield single, stole a base his 47th of the year. As Harold pointed out earlier, He's 47 for 47 stolen bases. That's remarkable. It really is. You would think along the way somewhere you got pitched out on, you got thrown out, something. He's only been thrown out three times in his minor league career. It's a weapon to know you have that in your system. That's that's a luxury for the Kansas City Royals. This one's lying down the line. Into the corner. Will it score a run? They're waving him home. And the Blue Sox add another run. It's 6 nothing. Well, I had a good conversation. We see Williams getting around the bases. I had a good conversation with Tyler before the game. I talked about that before. We talked hitting. He said, I've hit a lot of balls at people this year. And if you watch him swing, he's thinking about line drives, base hits. That's a breaking ball he stayed on to hammer down a left field line right there. I, I, I think he's got a chance. You know, with his speed and his ability, that's a good looking swing. It is. He can do a lot of things for you. And they got a nice weapon there. Peyton Wilson. Cam Williams balls out in front of you, so you really don't need a coach here in this situation. You see that ball out in front of you. Scores easily. Good look at the number nine hitter, the third baseman for Davenport tonight. I was watching the relay on that, and the shortstop got caught with his back to home plate instead of being turned sideways. When you get caught with your back to home plate, now I got to make a, a, a 180 to throw and find a target and release it properly. If I'm sideways, I can still be able to release a ball, and, and you're probably more likely going to keep that throw down as to maybe a full spin. You're going to release it high. That was the difference. I didn't think they had a play at first, but left fielder did a great job of getting it to the shortstop, and he just kind of got turned. And maybe it's the, the, the relay throw or whatever. But those are the little things you work on in the minor leagues that, that get you to that next level. You saw Mikey Perez. He's the new shortstop for Cedar Rapids. 23-year-old enters this ball game. 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. And that's a punch out. They're very high on Mikey Perez. Here, see right there. If we stop it right there, see his back was too. If we back it up just a little bit, guys, where he's turned to the plate. Right here. If he's turned sideways, He's going to get that, but he's catching it with his back to the plate. Now you got to turn, throw, and find your target. And that's the difference right there. And that's why you end up with the high throw. So, you youngsters at home, you got to continue to, to work on that rotation. You want to catch the ball to your side, where all you got to do is just release and throw. Oh, he's off and oh, running. And that won't even be close. Don't even throw it. Woo! Pat Winkle puts it in his pocket. The catcher for the Cedar Rapids Bunnies. Another stolen base for Tyler Tolbert. What a jump. And how did he lull everybody to sleep? <laughs> he lulled us all to sleep. With one out in the inning, you would think they'd pay attention. Now he's a scoring position where a fly ball or a ground ball can get him in. He's aggressive, man. I love it. Look at this lead. I mean, he is. Look at where he's at. you got to hold him. He's gone. Oh, oh. And the, the beauty is still in third. got to get movement. you got to get movement. Very few guys start. 
Still third. That's Broken a... bat up the middle and through with the infield in. Another run for Davenport. A 7 nothing lead here in the sixth. He stole the run. He stole the run. We've watched him affect the game with the home run that the, the hitter got when he was on base because he'd been running and put some pressure on the pitcher took him out of rhythm got a homer right here he gets a base hit after stealing third I mean I, I love the dynamic and I'm excited to see this come back into our game because the rule changes that are coming in Major League Baseball are going to bring speed and that weapon back to 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 what this purpose was for the sport at the plate now it's Negret. Three players have stood out in this ball game tonight. Tyler Tolbert, we couldn't wait to see this young man. All the stolen bases, and he's put on a show. A couple hits, RBI, two stolen bases. The guy at the plate, Juan Carlos Negret, two-run home run, RBI double. Another strong swing. This one to right field. Well, Greg, that we guys. talk about this a lot because we work every night together. But with the pitch count coming. With the pitch clock coming, you're not going to have a pitcher sitting out there breathing for 45 seconds to gain his air and then reach back and throw it as hard as he can. We're watching a minor league game where these guys are trained to get rid of the ball. They're throwing pitches within 15 seconds, and that takes away, and it changes everything. And it changes, am I going to sit and stare at a runner down the whole time for 30 seconds oh, no. before he runs? No. Now I'm going to get rid of the ball, and it forces aggressiveness. It changes the whole game. Okay. Couldn't agree more. By speeding things up, it becomes more of a marathon. You have to pace yourself on the mound. That pitch misses away from Tyler Paul. Third pitcher of the night for Cedar Rapids. Cedar Rapids, a, a single A affiliate of the Minnesota Twins. Uh, this team's really good in minor league baseball. They're 20 games over 500. Not having a strong night tonight against Davenport. Yeah, they've really been dominating this whole division. And you wouldn't think so watching it tonight. You would think it would reverse. But it's the beauty of the sport. Impressive players up and down both lineups. John Paul Morosi, uh, that includes Kale Emshoff, who's at the plate right now for the Blue Sox. It does, Greg. And multi talented, also very comfortable in these environs. Uh, we are told that as he has grown up in Texas, he actually is quite comfortable driving a combine. During the offseason, here he is on his tractor. He is a multi talented individual, Greg. Wow. Well, JP, if you can't shut corn, don't drive that. Don't do that. <laughs>
History made on this Tuesday night in Iowa. First ever minor league baseball game at the Field of Dreams. Greg Amsinger, Harold Reynolds, John Paul Morosi. We'll check in with him in a second. 7-0 Davenport with the lead against Cedar Rapids. Tell you what, Greg, we, we uh, do a lot of these specialty games, whether it's a high school American game or something like this, or whatever it might be. And the position players are always standing out. We're like, that guy should be the MVP, the Futures game, whatever. Chandler has been so dominant. I don't think there's any other player you could give the player the game to. He is uh, definitely the leading candidate. Uh -oh. This hangs up forever. Uh -oh. And Jake Rucker's into second base. I did not touch leather. That's going to be a leadoff double. Chandler Champlain watches his defense sort of melt down behind him. Uh, that's the one that a lot of people call for team air on. But as a hitter, I want this. But here's what happened. They're, they're talking instead of waving. When the second baseman goes back and you got it under control, you got to wave your arms. And it's a universal signal that I have it. And the center fielder's always in charge. We're looking at Peyton right now. He's always the one in charge. And if he can get to a ball, he gets it. But that's a ball that's got to be caught. And I'm sure they'll discuss it. Kyler Fedko, the right fielder at the plate. Breaking ball misses on the inside part. Runner in scoring position now for the Cedar Rapids Bunnies. John Paul Morosi standing by. JP, who are you with now? I am with the man of the hour, the Iowa native himself, Matt Mullenbach. And Matt, when you consider the scene, what did it mean to you and your family to step out on that mound here tonight? Uh, I mean, just the little history that our family has here. I mean, can't even really put it into words. It's really cool. So that history, of course, your dad proposing to your mom here in Dyersville. What's the favorite part of that story that you have heard all these years growing up? I mean, it just him coming back, meeting her halfway, and he was playing baseball. So, I mean, that's kind of sums up everything we're doing right now. We got me playing baseball and a lot of family here. How do you describe, Matt, the journey that you've been on to reach this point, to be with a Twins affiliate, your family's well, longtime favorite team? What's the journey that you've been on to get to this point? I mean, it's been a little crazy. Uh, I was with the Mets before this, and then last year I was hoping to get to Cedar Rapids, and this year got up here and been doing well. So, I mean, it's awesome. My family gets to come and see me pretty much every weekend, so can't complain. Now I asked your dad, of course, a longtime umpire, as we discussed, about the times when he would umpire the, the fall ball games, the unofficial games that involved your college team. And I asked him, how did the zone work for that? You're umpiring your son's game. And he said, I kept that zone fair, no matter what, despite whatever was being said from the opposite dugout. What's the funniest story that you can remember from that time? I mean, just all the chirping that the other team is doing. Uh, there are some comments that were made that probably can't repeat right now but I mean <laughs> it was a good time and I'm sure it was fun for him so your middle name Kirby what does that mean to you Kirby bucket I mean just growing up I guess he was like one of my dad's favorite players and he fought for my first name to be Kirby but my mom was like no <laughs> but, I mean at spring training you see Kirby Puckett up on the wall every day so I mean it's pretty cool so now your dad, I asked him a couple things. Number one, he's very, very proud in this moment, but he also has not forgotten his keen baseball observer's eye and commentary on your inning. So I asked him what he was going to tell you after the game. I'm going to see if you can guess. What do you think he's going to tell you the first words out of his mouth when this game is over? Uh, get ahead or don't walk people. <laughs> Yeah. The second one's exactly right. Those are his, his exact words. He said, walks kill. So so how would you assess her own outing? Uh, I mean, fell behind a couple guys and then couldn't really land the sinker. So had to kind of just work out of it. So it wasn't too bad, but could have been better. And finally, of course, you're riding on the bus with your teammates from all around the world to come here and play in your home state. Of course, you play in your home state all the time, but this is a very special location. What were you hearing from your teammates? What was the, the favorite thing you heard from any of your teammates about the movie site or just being here and driving here today? Uh, I mean, I was getting a lot of a lot of crap from people, just like saying how much people are going to be watching and just like being from the state of Iowa, being a state legend now and stuff like that. So, I mean, <laughs> It was fun just hearing everybody chime in and but yeah. 
Well, you are a state legend indeed, Matt. You are the first professional player from Iowa to pitch in a professional game on this site. Congratulations to you and your family. Enjoy the rest of this night. Thank you. Greg, back to you. JP, well done. You could tell when he asked the question, what do you think your dad's going to say after this ball game? He just kind of had that glazed look over his eyes like, oh, I know what my dad's going to say. Uh, and he nailed it. He threw the ball good, man. You walk out with a clean inning. Yeah, I thought, no doubt. He threw the ball well. But, yeah. Chandler Champlain, who's been the star of this game, his defense has let him down. What an at-bat here, a strikeout, and they do not throw him out. I had no chance, but yeah, the defense let him down. It kind of stinks, right? The double bloops in, and then the base hit. That's an earned run. Yeah. And it, it takes away from how great he has thrown the ball tonight. And that's a foul ball down the line, by the way, that Cam Williams should have made the play on. Yeah. He gets the strikeout anyway. Coming to get him. He's a little chapped that he ended up giving up a run, but thanks his catcher and gives him a hug. The whole infield comes in. Hey, that was a pretty cool out. Longest he's ever pitched in a minor league game. Chandler Champlain picked the perfect time to be dominant. That was pretty cool. Outstanding performance pitching. Good job, Chandler. Chandler. Iowa. We're back right after this in the Field of Dreams. With United Healthcare, access to quality health care may be closer than you think. You'll find coverage solutions for virtually any budget, no matter where life takes you, with United Healthcare. So access to care may be closer than you think when you choose United Healthcare. Learn more at uhc.com. So it's Friday night dinner. All of a sudden, boom, boom. The kid's like, Dad, what is that? And you get go, roar! Huh? It's, a, it's a bit too aggressive, isn't it? Okay, yeah, sure, rewind it. <laughs> How about this? Beg your pardon, but bundling your home and car insurance could save you hundreds. And then the neighbors are like, giant gecko? Huh? Who? A little girl. Hi, gecko. Well, quite the commercial. Yeah, I know, right? See how much you could save by bundling with Geico. The mountains or the seashore? Into the city or far from it? The experiences we never forget come from the choices we make. The Wagoneer or the Grand Wagoneer. Grand Adventures. The choice is yours. Get 0% financing for 60 months on the all-new Wagoneer Series 2 and Series 3. Scan to schedule a test drive at a Wagoneer dealer near you. So these are two teams that are in the state of Iowa. There are three minor league baseball teams in the state. You're wondering why are two high A minor league squads playing in this minor league Field of Dreams game? Well, you see, 89 miles apart, the Quad Cities River Bandits, who tonight, since they're going to throwback mode, are the Davenport Blue Sox, and then Cedar Rapids, less than 70 miles away. So you see a packed house tonight for a good reason. These are Iowans, they love their baseball and their minor league teams, and this is an outstanding venue tonight. I get uh, the new feeling, pitcher Greg. is Rito uh, Lugo. Yeah, Five, we'll tell us about Rito, and then I'll get, tell you what my feeling is. He's 26 years old from Venezuela, started off the year rookie ball, and they actually pitched rather well, sub-2 ERA. He struggled a bit in a few innings since he's been called up to high A. Yeah, and, and just get an opportunity again at the at the level. We've moved some guys this time of year to different levels to see what they can do. And anytime you're moving a level, and whether you have success or not, and you don't get moved back down, that's progress. And then he, he may start here next year, but he set his bar already at another level. Well, Lugo's now, looking for a great performance tonight. Uh, it'll be tough to come close to what Chandler Champlain did. For Davenport, who's standing by with John Paul Morosi. JP? Thank you, Greg. Chandler Champlain, as you said, outstanding for Davenport here this oh. evening. Chandler, as you prepared for this start, what was foremost in your mind? Uh, it was hard not to think about uh, think about where we're at. I mean, you know, as a pitcher, you just want to, you know, try to put your team in the best spot to win. But uh, I had to take it in for a moment before the game, you know, walk the corn maze and go look at the site. And uh, 
I got I got my my feels in, and then you know once it came time to prepare, I had to get ready and treat it like another start. So did you calculate how far it is from your hometown of Dana Point, California, to Dyersville, Iowa? No, but I know it ain't close. I can tell you that. <laughs> yeah, it's a. Uh, no, I love I love the atmosphere in Iowa. It's very peaceful, and you know everyone here is very nice, and life is a lot slower and just more relaxed. I mean. Los Angeles gets pretty hectic, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I'm I'm having fun out here in Iowa. Well, speaking of hectic, how about your month? Changing teams. How do you describe just the emotional journey of the last several weeks? Um, you know, it was it was a surprise, really, um, being in my rookie year and just uh, just wanted to wherever anywhere I go, just wanted to be able to establish myself as a leader and as a starter and as a role model and just continue to keep doing what I'm doing. Really, but uh, the first couple of days after getting traded definitely was a little bit of a shock, a little bit of an adjustment for sure. Hey, JP. Yes, Harold. Harold, Harold Reynolds has a question upstairs. I'll, I'll relay it to you. Yeah, I want to ask him. You know, you get traded, and this is the first time everybody gets a chance to see him with the new organization. Did that cross his mind? Did he feel any pressure about that? Right. So Harold's question was coming to a new organization to now be on national TV. I'm sure your Yankees teammates are watching this too. Was there any additional pressure in this outing, just knowing how many eyeballs in this big first look for the Royals fans at, at you? Well, I know my, my my Yankee buddies. They're currently playing the the, the Dunedin Blue Jays right now, so I don't know if they're able to watch it. But uh, wh wh whoever was in the pen today and wasn't throwing, I'm sure they're watching on their phone right now. Sup, Jack? Miss you, buddy. But. Uh, yeah, um, you know, I, I, a lot of friends from home, you know, were texting me and saying like, "Good luck, we'll be watching." And you know, it's it gets your your nerves and your adrenaline going. But then up until I grab that ball, and start playing catch, I kind of forget it, really. When you think about just the dream, Chandler, of, of pitching in the big leagues, this is a a big league like atmosphere for you on that journey. How does this experience for you and your teammates maybe revive what it is that you're playing for? Yeah, this um, this truly is at at its core of what really baseball is all about. I mean, I can smell the hot dogs right now. You know, all the fans cheering for both sides, just wanting a great baseball game. Um, it's just it's such a beautiful day, and this is definitely going to be a day in my life that I will never forget for the rest of my life. I'll tell my grandkids this one day, and they'll tell their grandkids this one day, and uh, hopefully, I can get one of the game balls and give it to my dad. That'd be pretty cool. But uh, we'll see. Well, you certainly deserve it. And finally, you mentioned your dad. Uh, where's your family watching tonight, and what do you want to say to them? They are about 10 rows behind me right now. And uh, hi, Mom, hi, Dad. Uh, I love you. Thank you for, you know, booking four flights to get to Iowa in two days. Um, you know, I love you guys so much, and thank you for everything you've done for me to help me get to where I am. And uh, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. And uh, just trying to make you proud out here. You certainly have. Chandler Champlain, the star of the night. Chandler, congratulations to you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. All the best. Greg, back to you. JP, what an impressive young man. Chandler Champlain, six and a third, six hits, two runs, both earned. No walks, seven strikeouts. We're going to see him in the big leagues. Oh. I'm not saying this year, next year. At some point, we will. He's got the arsenal, the size, the mindset, because part of the biggest challenge through minor league baseball is mentally. If you can handle the grind, it's a separator from those that can handle it and those that can't. And he's got the right mindset and he's got the stuff to get him there. He's fearless. As JP pointed out, he's a Southern California kid. He loves surfing, likes to golf, fish, Man. ski. He also likes to DJ. Now, he was asked if he would ever be afraid to surf if there were white sharks around. He said, no, it, it, this is a quote from Chandler Champlain. If I'm going to die by a shark, that's God's choice. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you put yourself in the middle, that's your choice. He's fearless. <laughs> wow. Chandler Champlain. Have you ever been to Dana Point? Oh, it's beautiful. No. Gorgeous area. Right outside of Newport. It's just a great spot. Hey, uh, they are running in this game. They're not afraid to steal bags, put pressure on. It's a 7-2 game now, and you're still running. So, pretty cool stuff. But Chandler, should, he did himself proud tonight. He should be proud of that. Rito Lugo trying to get the final strike of this top of the seven. That ball is smoked. Will Holland at the end of the bat will be handled for the final out. So it's time to stretch in Iowa. Chandler Champlain. Not exactly a baseball legend yet.
but he put on a show at the Field of Dreams. Meet three sisters, the drummer, the dribbler, and the daydreamer. The dribbler's getting hands-on practice with her Chase First Banking debit card. The drummer's making savings simple with a tap. Round of applause. And this dreamer, well, she's still learning how to budget, so mom keeps her alerts on full volume. Hey! What? It's true! And that's all thanks to Chase First Banking. Freedom for kids, control for parents. One bank with tools for both, all with no monthly service fee. Chase, make more of what's yours. Bubbles. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. There are bubbles everywhere. As an Expedia member, you earn points on top of your airline miles. So you can go and see even more of all the world's bubbles. Get a dozen shrimp for only one dollar with any steak entree. Now that's eating good in the neighborhood. My relationship with my credit cards wasn't good. I got into debt in college, and no matter how much I paid, it followed me everywhere. Between the high interest, the fees, I felt trapped. So I broke up with my credit card debt and consolidated it into a low-rate personal loan from SoFi. I finally feel like a grown-up. Break up with bad credit card debt? Get a personal loan with no fees, low fixed rates, and borrow up to 100K. Go to SoFi.com to view your rate. SoFi, get your money right. Every game, every night, wow. everything you need to see. Get all the highlights with the fastest hour on television. Quick Pitch, tonight at 1 a.m. Eastern, only on MLB Network. MILB at Field of Dreams is presented by Capital One. What's in your wallet? And sponsored in part by 811. Always remember, call 811 before you dig. sun has gone down. It is beautiful on this Tuesday night in Dyersville, Iowa. Well, here's the difference, Greg, with a major league field compared to a minor league park is the lights. When you get to a major league ballpark, the lighting is almost like turn the light on and off. It's that big of a difference. First pitch swinging is Dylan Schrump. Line drive, which is snared for the first out. New pitcher in the game is Miguel Rodriguez. From Venezuela, you see the moon's out. They've lit up the walkway through the cornfield to the movie site. And it's just a beautiful view from where we are right now. You see the house in the back. You see the, the illuminated walkway through the cornfield. Fans what? getting a chance to go back and forth from their seats here at the venue to watch the game. They can go play catch cornhole as you see. This is a, a fully uh, functional entertainment site for baseball fans. Broken bat that's uh, snared again. A couple soft liners. Always Three pitches throw it. two outs. Always throw it on that play right there. When you get that short hop and it's in between you're not sure just throw it to first base. Mikey Perez had to show it to the umpire. Yeah, he did. Mikey Perez can play, man. I, I, I like him, uh, his hands. I watched him early in BP today. They worked great. He swing the bat. Rodriguez's numbers on the season, 2.74 ERA. First pitch to Bates, misses inside. JP, what do you think of the, the lighting here? I think it's illuminated well. The lighting is excellent. Musco Lighting Company, an Iowa-based company, is the one that supplied the lights here, and it really is up to a major league caliber. Whenever MLB takes games to unique locations, whether it's here in the pass to Fort Bragg or Williamsport, they always make sure that the lighting capabilities are up to the major league standard. And Harold mentioned Mike Perez, a quick note on him. His mother, Kelly, is the two-time national championship winning head coach at UCLA, one of the great coaches we have in our country of women's college softball. Yeah, I know she's dynamite, and Mikey's been around the game a long time. And if you want to learn from somebody who's a champion, his mom's one of the one of the tops. Rodriguez falling behind Bates, two balls and a strike. Evens the count in the bottom of the seventh. But look at the lighting. I mean, that's that's a noticeable difference 
from minor leagues to the big leagues. And JP's right. There's no way they would play a major league game if you didn't have. That's the number one concern is the standard that you have for major league field. You have to reach that standard or you don't get to play that game. And clearly uh, this is done real well and reaches the standard. Real well the performance from Miguel Rodriguez. We are through seven at the Field of Dreams. Back with more after this. The City Custom Cash Cards automatically adjust to your spending. Hi. You don't have to keep tabs on rotating categories. This is the only rotating I care about. It does the yeah. work for you. Earn cash back that automatically adjusts to your top eligible spend category with the City Custom Cash Card. People who come to Cricket stay with Cricket. Little did we know that switching to Cricket was going to be a major upgrade. The 5G is like fast, fast. Switch for the speed, stay for the savings. Smile, you're on Cricket. Arby's sells the most Greek euros in America. If they wanted to sell the most Greek euros in Greece, they'd have to open a store there and call it Arby's, but in Greece. Arby's, we have the meat. Now more than ever, voters need accurate information to make confident decisions. Every voice is unique and will bring them all to you so you can decide who speaks for us in our community and in Congress. Let Spectrum News 13 be your resource for balanced and in-depth coverage on the candidates and the issues. Join us for live primary election night coverage starting Tuesday, August 23rd at 7 p.m. on Spectrum News 13. Exclusively on Spectrum. Welcome back to MILB at Field of Dreams, presented by Capital One. To the top of the eighth we go at Field of Dreams Park in Dyersville, Ohio. Greg Singer, Harold Reynolds, John Paul Morosi, enjoying a wonderful evening of baseball. And I cannot wait to see the Cub fans, Red fans that show up. Only 8,000 seats, about 8,000 seats here. So it's a tough ticket to get. And if you can land one, you're passionate about your big league squad. Yeah, you land one, it's gold. <laughs> and there's a lot of locals going to the game, too. You know, so it's a tough, tough ticket. Rita Lugo back to work. But, Greg, I think anytime MLB does these specialty games, this won't be the last one they do, whether they do it here or somewhere else in the country. Now that it's been pulled off, the way it has, and we've seen it in Williamsport as well. Williamsport is mainly for the Little Leaguers, it's only 1,500 tickets. The next venue, like this, is 8,000. I hope we don't go 10, 15, or not. Like, you keep it intimate. I'm with you on that. And if you keep it, that's what makes it great, is the intimacy of the ballpark. Other than that, it's just another major league game. How many people contacted you? Harold, can you get me tickets to the Field of Dreams game? Uh oh, they're gonna lose this million. one. They don't see it at all. First baseman's got it. No. He's got to be that. Uh oh, ooh, almost popped out. Dylan oh. Shrum makes the play. Second baseman had no clue. I was looking at him. He didn't have a chance. <laughs> hey, don't miss MLB Network's Thursday afternoon baseball. Two AL Central teams face off as the playoff hopeful Cleveland Guardians take on the Detroit Tigers. MLB Network's Thursday afternoon baseball presented by Corona Premier. So to answer your question directly, Greg, you know I had more people I think. After they saw the game last year. Yes. Going, are you going to go out there? I mean, they've been asking for a year for tickets. Seth Gray at the plate. Ball down. He just called that pitch ball down. <laughs> I thought that was the <laughs> ump. <laughs> no, I didn't think that was Seth Gray. <laughs> yeah, he, I saw him point. <laughs> ball down. He's 24 years old, six foot three, batting second in the lineup for Cedar Rapids. We're down by five in the eighth. I think the most alarming thing to me, I uh, didn't like that one. He's chirping about it. Yeah. I, I think the most alarming thing to me today is the age of the players. 
I mean, we're looking at 20. You, you, you would think they'd be 21, 20. A lot of guys, 24, 25. And I go back to the point I made early on. It's just the backload we have from COVID. It's just it's where we're at. Rita Lugo, 23-year-old left-hander. Check that. He's 26. 26-year-old left-hander. His 19th pitch of the evening. Woo! He's done a terrific job tonight. Well, and you think about Lugo. He's been in the game long enough now where he's had to make an adjustment because there's no specialists anymore. He has a delivery that would have been nasty as a left-hander. And had the rule been still not three batters, he'd be a guy that might be in the big leagues just to get lefties out. Do you know my comp for him? Two. Remember Wandy Rodriguez, the little starter? He was a starting pitcher for the Houston Astros. Yes. But I'm going to go back to a specialist, since that's where you brought it. Frank DePino. Yes. Do you remember Frank DePino? I, I do. The former Cub left-hander? I do, but that was a nasty slider broke off the plate, right? But in the new world that we live in, you got to get righties out as well. And that was a good looking swing. Aaron Sabato has put together outstanding at bats tonight. Former first round pick and a bunch of home runs in college as a Tar Heel. One for three, he's got a knock, but he just looks like a slugger, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. A one pitch. Just the way he takes pitches. He's not off balance. He's seeing the ball well. It's a breaking ball. He just kind of eyed. I love the fact he was, he's was he been aggressive on the first pitch. What happens when you're aggressive on the first pitch, you put that fear back in the pitcher. Yeah. Up there, hacking, fouls this away. John Paul Morosi, this young man at the plate, he, he's pretty impressive. He is in a great personality as well as we were setting up the interview with Mullenbach in the dugout. Aaron was lingering just off camera. He said, hey, make sure you mention that the next Field of Dreams movie is going to be a it's going to be about Matt because he's the Iowa hero coming back home. And so basically <laughs> saying that the Field of Dreams 2 is going to be about Matt Mullenbach. That was directly from Aaron Sabato. Nah, that's a good teammate. Funny. Yeah. yeah, Greg and I were talking about remakes today and we were talking about how difficult it would be to remake this movie. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think you can. If it's if it's perfect, don't mess with it. There have been movies that are close to perfect that they've messed with. Sabato strikes out, and let's tip our cap to Rito Lugo. Outstanding work, and the talent on the mound for Davenport, impressive. Five-run game, home half the eighth coming up. If you build it, they will come. Join Intentional Talks, Kevin Millar and Steven Nelson from Iowa's Field of Dreams with live coverage leading up to the historic game between the Cubs and Reds. Intentional Talk, live from Iowa, Wednesday and Thursday, only on MLB Network. Panera chefs have crafted a masterpiece. Succulent seared chicken, a secret aioli, clean ingredients in a buttery brioche roll made fresh to leave you speechless. Panera's new Chef's Chicken Sandwiches, $1 delivery fee on our app. Drizzly makes it easy to shop a huge selection of beer, wine, and liquor from wherever I am. I just open the app, find what I want, and it's at my door in under 60 minutes. Drizzly. Ding dong, Drizzly. Dion, hand it over. Now how does that make you feel? Like a part of me is missing. Gabrielle? This Old Spice Fiji Hand and Body Lotion has me smoother than ever. I swear it does. Only two things are forever. Love and Liberty Mutual customizing your car insurance so you only pay for what you need. And if anyone objects to this marriage, Kevin, no, not today. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Let's go. Welcome to the show where everyone and everything is connected. Those obsessed with the game can take the complex and make it simple. That's why Major League Baseball chose Extreme Networks to advance their game. Construction started for this venue with plans for a game in 2020, but the game was postponed one year due to COVID. They removed 30,000 cubic yards of dirt, installed 4,000 tons of sand, 2,000 tons of gravel. 
seats just under 8,000 fans. The design of the park pays homage to Comiskey Park, the old Comiskey where the White Sox played from 1910 to 1990, including the shape of the outfield wall and the bullpens, which are behind the center field wall. It's a beautiful venue. Harold and I, J.P. Morosi, we've enjoyed every minute of this minor league game at Field of Dreams. It's been fun. I've just, you know, when, when uh, we were doing the interviews, we were looking at Hunter Man here, getting ready to start pitching. Born in Kansas City, fastball slider comes after guys. Oh, misses to Cam Williams. Cam's had some good swings. Skied a couple balls, just missed them. He's coming back from an injury, so his timing hasn't fully been there, but we're getting a chance to see him play tonight. A couple of nice defensive plays as well. One of three switch hitters in the Blue Sox lineup. That's in their first strike. The Blue Sox 38 and 64 on the air against the uh, Cedar Rapids Bunnies, who won their division's first half, which qualifies them for the postseason no matter what happens in the second half. Their record stands at 61 and 41, but they're down by five in the bottom of the eighth. And it fluctuates too when you start looking at minor league talent and how's that team doing i mean if you look at the kansas city royals the major league team they got all their youngsters in the big leagues that would probably be playing a ball double a according to age anyway right i mean bobby witt jr is what 21. it's fouled away i was going to ask you, you know, these are two teams that are high a in the twins organization and the royals and those two organizations really do take pride in developing their own guys come up from the minor leagues and they get to the big leagues and if you're a youngster in high a ball like these young men are tonight that matters it, you're on your way it does matter it really does because there are organizations that they buy the hottest free agent ticket little comebacker one up one down McMahon gets the first batter out he faces tonight at the field of dreams. Well, what happens when you have an organization that allows you to have your 400 at bats or 500 at bats? They have continuity. Like I saw Rusty Kuntz here tonight. He's a traveling, roving in outfield instructor, but he's been in the big leagues for a number of years. I go back to my days in Seattle with Rusty, and he developed Griffey and Jay Buter and all those guys into being great outfielders, and then the championship teams with in Kansas City with. With Lorenzo Kane and all those guys, he was the outfield instructor on the Big League Club. Now he's roving. So you get a he gets a chance to see these guys throughout the whole organization. And when you're trading or somebody gets good and you just go buy a free agent, that kid gets blocked. Yeah. And it can be discouraging at times. Tyler Tolbert at the plate right now for the Blue Sox. And this ground ball to short is going to be eventful. Double clutch, watch out, he can fly. Yeah, but I like his, his that's what I was talking about with Perez with his actions. Nice and smooth down there, filled it, get it going, picked it, delivered it through. Go ahead, Greg. Tonight's Mercy One Hero play of the game is Peyton Wilson's home run, which was called by his teammate Parker Bates. Oh, Peyton Wilson, you did it, boy. You did it. Roll time! Roll time! <laughs> Wow, he's got a future. Parker's got a future. That was a terrific home run call. What's the quarterback's name? I can't think how to say it properly. That played at Washington State. He played with 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 uh, with Florida, and then he went down. He's now Misky or Miss Rest. What's his name? Uh, we'll figure that out in a second. We got a great reason. Somebody. In the truck I, I, I'm at a baseball me. game at the moment. John Paul Morosi. You have more on Parker Bates, right? <laughs> Speaking of quarterbacks, Harold, uh, John Parker Wilson is the older brother of Peyton Wilson, and he, in fact, did play for the Crimson Tide, and that was the origin of Parker's mention there on Roll Tide. So as we mentioned earlier with Peyton, a very athletic family. And Harold, I want to make sure I point this out. Coaching first base right now, yes. Kevin Kuntz, yes. son of Rusty Kuntz. So I love that connectivity between the generations. We talk about how, how much the Royals value that. Even the manager here today, Brooks Conrad, you think about Dayton Moore's connections to the Braves, and Brooks played for the Braves, and Brooks's final year as a major league player, Bobby Cox was his manager.
No, it's it's cool. I, Kevin came up to me today. This is what's funny when you get older, right? And uh, Rusty had texted me and told me Kevin was going to be there, and he's coaching first. Make sure you look him up. Well, I'm coming in. I'm seeing all these different players, and Kevin comes up to me and says, "Hey, how you doing?" Like I'm supposed to remember. I'm like, "Man, last time I saw you, you were five years old. You're now six five. The quarterback was Gardner Minshew. Yes. We're back after this. <laughs> Guten Tag, this is my auto and this is my key. And for all auto repairs, I only trust one place with my key. My key! All the pay in America! My key is so honest and, uh, what's the word? A transparent! Rock and roll! With e-inspection, I look at the photographs and see the problem and fix with my German eyeballs. Hey, you got some water damage. Wow, he's really good. I only trust my key with my key! My relationship with my credit cards wasn't good. I got into debt in college, and no matter how much I paid, it followed me everywhere. Between the high interest, the fees, felt trapped. So I broke up with my credit card debt and consolidated it into a low-rate personal loan from SoFi. I finally feel like a grown-up. Break up with bad credit card debt? Get a personal loan with no fees, low fixed rates, and borrow up to 100K. Go to SoFi.com to view your rate. SoFi, get your money right. As electric vehicle driving becomes quieter, so do our tires. Ion. Electrified Hanguk Tire, official tire of Major League Baseball. When it's about to go down, this is the story of the night. MLB Tonight takes you there. Big moments, big reactions, and big interviews after the game on MLB Network's MLB Tonight. Harold, this was a moment that you just knew baseball was coming back to Iowa. Tim Anderson walking it off after the Yankees stormed back against Liam Hendricks. An epic night for Major League Baseball. America watched, and they couldn't get enough of the Field of Dreams game. Well, it wasn't just the game. It was important that it happened here, but there was all eyes watching baseball because it had the curiosity of the country. Mm -hmm. And they delivered on that night with all eyes watching. That was the largest audience in a number of years of watching a baseball game. It's amazing. It was covered by every national morning news show. Yes. The next morning. Terrific. It was such a great night for the sport. Jake Rucker with a strong night. Yes. Only uh, Bunny with two hits tonight. That's his 18th multi-hit game of the season. Oh. Tell you what, you know what I love about minor league baseball? The pitch clock works. We're not even using it tonight. We have no shift in minor league baseball, and, and, and the pitch clock is prominent right 20 seconds to deliver pitch the batter has to be in the box ready to go tentative within eight seconds where he gets a ball called on him a strike call they're not using the clock this has been two and a half hour game the pace has been there the action's been there all that the clock works they're not using it tonight but they're trained yeah that's a great word they're trained Rucker right. does not make a pass at that pitch from Rito Lugo who's been outstanding tonight for the Blue Sox. Anybody who doesn't really believe that, all you do is watch. He throws a pitch, he's looking, gets a sign. We're going, right? It's the now. way We're baseball going. was meant to be played. This is how I played it. So Rucker walks. Hey, after the game, don't miss MLB tonight. I think you've heard of it. Get highlights, analysis from all the day's action from around the league. And tomorrow, Thursday, we're going to be live right here at the Field of Dreams, MLB Tonight, only on MLB Network. Yeah, apologies to the guys back there in the studio. You can be on early. <laughs> <laughs> that usually happens to us. <laughs> yes. Willie Joe Gary, he entered this game in right field, his first at bat of the night. Meeting on the mound. So you only get a number of visits that are timed out, yeah, that you get. 
I'm looking at Gary's uh, stats, his 35 games played. That's a cool name, though. Willie Joe. Willie Joe Gary Jr. You better be fast with that name. And Willie Go, Willie Joe Gary. What's your name? Willie Joe Gary. Oh, you can run, huh? Yes. There ain't no doubt about it. You got to. <laughs> you got to. Trying to get on board for Cedar Rapids down by five. Now you get one timeout as a hitter. So there goes his timeout to fix his arm guard. So he's done now. He cannot get another timeout. The umpire telling right now, hey, you wasted it. Here we go. Rito Lugo back to work. His 32nd pitch. That's in the first strike. The stands are still packed. Absolutely. No one wants to leave. They made the long trek out here. Gary sends this one to center field. And Wilson catches it right in front of the track. Nice swing. So the Davenport Blue Sox, you got an injection of talent after the Andrew Benintendi trade rode that new talent tonight on the mound. Chandler Champlain was awesome to watch. Yes, he was. He really was. And he, he set the trend for the night. I mean, he came in, he attacked through strikes. Struck out the side in the first inning. Yes. Charles Mack, the new catcher in this game, is at the plate. His first at bat of the night for Cedar Rapids. He's been off to a little bit of a up and down season, but this guy's a really good player. I was watching his just his ability to catch. I was talking to him today about what an organization is looking for. What are they really? And it's more your presentation behind the plate. Not so concerned about the offense. They feel like it'll come, but it's his catching. And that's always been a case. If you catch and throw, they're going to find a place for it. John Paul Morosi, Charles Mack getting a chance here in the ninth inning. He is, Greg. He told me before the game began that this is the first time he's wearing his socks high since he was playing at Cooperstown Dreams Park as a young kid. Wow. And, and before before the game, Greg, it was a great moment. He was uh, FaceTiming, trying to FaceTime with his brother, Joe Mack, who is actually a minor league player in the Marlins organization. So a great baseball family from Western New York. Swing and a miss. And Cedar Rapids down to their final out. Two pitchers have dominated tonight for the Davenport Blue Sox. First, it was the big right-hander, Chandler Champlain. He handed it off to the diminutive left-hander, Rito Lugo at 5'10". Tell you what, though, does he not dominate left-handed pitcher hitters? Oh, he does. He, he, he's really a weapon. Yeah, that slider that fades away from them, effective. Mikey Perez, the shortstop, he entered this game in the sixth inning. Got a knock his first time up, stole a bag. Stole third. He's got the Manny Machado batting stance. So relax a little bit, and then you go into your stance with the pitcher that's ready to deliver. It was so fun to be in the locker rooms to meet the kids earlier today and watch them walk in to the clubhouses where there were these lockers with these throwback unis that were taking pictures. And it was an incredible night that may be coming to an end. This fly ball will be caught. And the Davenport Blue Sox, single A affiliate of the Kansas City Royals, win the first ever minor league baseball game played at the Field of Dreams. Harold, this is a fun night. Uh, it's just a great night. The weather was perfect. The guys played a crisp game. It was so much fun. And it just sets the trend for what we're going to see on Thursday night as the week continues here. Really, really a joy to be here in Iowa and be a part of this. Really cool. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, everybody downstairs. Put this on is awesome. It was an outstanding evening. Great energy here in Iowa. The fans couldn't wait to watch a game here and to see minor leaguers with this stage, this platform, and an opportunity to impress in front of a national audience. You can tell there was something extraordinary about tonight. Well, how, how about our pitcher Chandler talking about my grandkids and their grandkids? 
will remember this night. And he's probably right. Oh, no doubt. You, you come to this special place and perform the way he did. That's why he's tonight's nationwide player of the game. The right-hander, newly acquired, making his second start with Davenport. Chandler Champlain, two earned runs, but his defense kind of let him down. Dominant. He struck out five of the first six batters he retired, including striking out the side in the first inning. That elevated fastball was too hot to handle for Cedar Rapids. He was had it all working. The 12-6 the to six breaking ball, the, the fastball we just saw riding it in there. You couldn't have said it any better, Greg, and he so well deserved this game. He set the pace, he set the trend, fantastic. I'm a fan of the Kansas City Royals, and I really wanted to get a good look at one of the three pitchers they acquired for Andrew Benintendi. I'm very impressed with what I saw from Chandler Champlain, who's about to have his second interview of the night with John Paul Morosi. JP. Thank you, Greg. Chandler, you go through a lot of handshake lines during the course of a minor league season. What was special about the one that we just saw? Uh, one that uh, most likely I'll probably never be on this field again, and uh, just a moment to remember. You know, this this field is the most perfect field I've ever played on, and uh, I will never forget this day for the rest of my life. So that was a very special moment, and especially with these guys still being very new teammates of mine, new coaches of mine. Um, you know, it, it feels really good. You mentioned your family being here and watching. When you see them after this game, what are you going to tell them? Uh, tell them I love them. Tell them thank you. Um, you know, wish there was a couple other people could have made it. Jillian back at home, I miss you, I love you. Wish you could have made it, but we'll get you out to Iowa soon. Um, but you know, it's uh, it'll be a special moment. You know, my dad's been a big, uh, big baseball fan his whole life, and taught me since I was a little boy, and um, made me watch this movie a hundred thousand times. You know, and like it's so surreal now I'm here. So uh, yeah, no, it's gonna be a very special moment. And for you, you mentioned earlier you're going to tell your grandkids about this one day. W what do you think you're going to want to tell them about what made this night special for you? Um, that uh, your grandpa came out and uh, him and his team got the win, and uh, he dominated. His team dominated, and he had a lot of fun out here. <laughs> and we're going to see you in the big leagues one day, Chandler. Congratulations to you. Thank you. I appreciate it. All the best. Greg, back to you. Uh, JP, well That's done. Uh, what a great way to kick off Field of Dreams week. Harold and I will be on the air tomorrow. MLB tonight from here in Iowa. After that, we'll get you set for the game you'll see on Fox Thursday night. Harold, it was fun. Yes, sir. We've had some great stuff. This is a blast. It was. We'll see you tomorrow. But coming up next, MLB tonight, Fran Charles, Mike Lowell, Dan Plesak. For Harold Reynolds, J.P. Morosi, my name's Greg Amsinger. Saying good night from Dyersville, Iowa. What a beautiful night of minor league baseball right here at the Field of Dreams. MLB Tonight is next.